Rock and roll. Opie and Anthony, Jim Florentine, and Greg Gutfeld in studio. Now, Greg, we got the book the other day, The Bible of Unspeakable Truths. I'm going to read this one. Yeah, it's a fun book, I'm telling you. It's perfect for sitting on the toilet because nothing's longer than about 300 words. And I appreciate uh, that. Yeah, right? it's all about timing it with the pinch. You know what I mean? Because I think a lot of books have a lot of filler. <laughs> yeah. They really do. So, I mean, if you're if you're getting to the point like you're doing in your book, it's, it's a lot easier to read. Exactly. The fact is, whoever decided that books had to be, like, long and have like a theme, those were the people that ruined reading for everybody. This is how your uh, book is supposed to be done. It's supposed to be 300, 400 words tops. And uh, that way, if you don't like something, you can leave it. If you love it, just reread it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I, move on. I drink a lot when I read. And, mm -hmm. uh, and when you don't read. <laughs> and when I, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, like, actually, actually like, you're right, Jim. <laughs> I like to get through chapters quickly. Yes. Nothing worse than you're getting into a book and you, and you, you go f you know, uh, ahead and realize, I got 38 more pages yeah. before this chapter's it, done? Yeah, and also then I always jump to the end. I just jumped to yeah. the end with everything. What happened? Yeah, exactly. Now I know. Yeah. End of story. This mm -hmm. is why this yeah. is good. It's like literally they are all short. It's a great way to, to write a book. It's like... Uh, they're not even chapters. They they really are. It's like a paragraph and a half, three paragraphs, four. Yeah. Every one of them is very. You actually, what what do you? Okay, here's one: racial junk and junk that's racial. That's that's a chapter. Yeah. So it's going to be all these little like entries about race and stuff like that. Yeah. Everything everything uh, that's happened in the last three years is is related to race. I don't care yeah. what you're. And the funny thing is, when I first started working in in TV, they took that it was like a guy that had been working in the business forever said, just stay away from race. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and that's what he said. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you realize every single thing out there is about race. It's racial. There's no way you can get away from get away from it. Uh, the people that say you're not going to vote for Obama say that's because you're racist. Racist. And then the people that vote for Obama are doing it because he's the first black president ever. Right. So who's who? Who is doing? Who is living their life according to race? Race is very important these days. I don't. I, I don't know why. It just. Uh, it is. Everyone talks about, but but it is a taboo subject. Yeah, like people t will never tiptoe more yeah. around a subject than they will race because you get that scarlet R on you as racist. Yeah, and and you know it screws careers up. It does everything. You you really can uh, trip up a. It's all. It's also the easiest about. way to win an argument. Like, if you and I are debating about something, I can always just say that your point of view is unconscious racism, and then you might as well just give in because you don't want to get you don't want to i'll just agree with yeah, you exactly. though because it is yeah. exactly it's it well, conscious it's it conscious actually what am i talking racist. about by the way how do you do this show with that hood on i know it's very <laughs> difficult <laughs> i cut a bigger hole in it for the microphone <laughs> this is going to be a really easy read I'm, it's big words I'm yes. which i like <laughs> big words a lot of stuff is in bold yeah big that, words. It's, it's designed it's designed for idiots like me not uh you know because i, I just don't have the patience to read a real book yeah you know oh, that the guy shit. that Hold on, hold on. Uh, by page 88. Yeah. When a female teacher sleeps with a male student, men reserve judgment until they find out how hot the teacher is. Oh, it's true. That is absolutely true. Yeah, it's true. No, it's absolutely. true. Absolutely. And uh, you know what? I'll say that I'll even go a step further that men, uh, men uh, judge the achievements of all women by the level of attractiveness. Like when you look at a team picture of a girl's team, like it doesn't matter how good the best player is. It. It's who's hot in the team, and you just sit there and you mentally count which ones you would do. <laughs> imagine about. Imagine if you were the best girl in that team, and you knew that nobody cared how good you were. Yeah, it was just that chick is hot, and <laughs> yeah. she plays this game. Exactly. Yeah. Or like walking by a missing poster. Like this is what men oh, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A missing woman. You know, she's a twenty-five-year-old woman that's been gone for you. You don't. You feel compassion, but you generally just immediately go well she's that's a tragedy because she's hot mm -hmm. yeah it's more tragic <laughs> yes because she's hot yeah the natalie holloway story was yeah. famous yeah, for that look how long Over that went on if that was just some blonde blue slop, eyes yeah yeah uh, fat girl disappears you assume she's in an arby's for four years <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't care about and the not frumps against out there. Will. No. <laughs> no no if, if you're a frump you're gonna you're not gonna have anyone looking for but you. but that's always with the hot chick is like You'll bang someone from like ten years ago, and you're at a party. Go, I banged that one. You go, but when she was hot, when she was you hot. always have to yeah, throw it in there. there. I got her in her prime. Shit, I think we're all guilty of that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> when she was hot. Yeah. Hey, how about this one, Greg? I'm just, I'm just perusing, yeah. man. Yeah, peruse away. Uh, clitorises are aren't as funny as balls. Yeah, it's just. Uh, I, it, By the way, there's a lot of political stuff in here too, but yeah. I, I'm just finding the the really weird stuff. Yeah. Uh, 
you cannot imagine if you looked at every movie where a guy got nailed in the testicles and and, and w which generates a huge laugh and just replaced it with a woman getting kneed in the clitoris. There's no it's not funny. It's a no. little more violent, it's it's a little more. Yeah, yeah, not not funny. And I think there is a kind of it's a bedrock truth is that men are open game for any kind of violence. Mm -hmm. It's funny and women women. Obviously, it's evil if you hurt women and oh, hit women. Course. But it's just kind of weird that like. I don't like getting hit in the balls, but somehow it's comedy for people. People love it when it's not them. <laughs> yeah, that's that, true. There's no greater pain, but seeing somebody yeah. uh, will make you kind of double over, cringe, yeah. and then go, oh, fucking God. <laughs> exactly. Oh, wow. That's every romantic comedy trailer. Yeah. The guy oh, always gets yeah, hit yeah, in the yeah, balls. Yeah. balls. Hey, are Soccer are gonna, ball. Speaking mm -hmm. of which, are you going to go see Sex in the City? I am, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I am, definitely. Gonna, what, what's wrong not, with you, Jim? You're not going to go gonna see gonna Sex in the City? The sequel? Greg, you're going, I'm right? Not, I'm actually, I have to go. <laughs> I have to go. Because I, we're going to talk about we it. We might go as a goof and then just fucking make it a miserable time for everybody else in the theater. Yeah, you should do a countdown clock until you yeah. go and, oh, and, and make, it wow. huge make it a huge deal. Uh, I want to uh, heckle. Yeah. In a crowded movie theater with all these cougars trying exactly. to enjoy their fucking film. They get dressed up for it, too? Like, oh, yeah, they, yeah. We were, we were explaining. Like, uh. The new thing is four cougars like get together and they all know who's who. Like, oh, you're like, the Samantha oh, of our group. Be, oh, you know yeah. her. Wait, you know this, I read, so, Ooh, I read an, an initial interview that said that there's like, it's p extremely politically incorrect uh, about uh, kind of the, uh, the way Muslims look at women. I guess they go to, I don't know, they're supposed to go to Abu Dhabi or something for a wedding and they run into like, uh, you know, I don't know, the prejudice against... <laughs> yeah, they actually <laughs> fight terrorists. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> it's amazing. They beat one to death with a shoe. With a Jimmy yes. Choo. <laughs> right. We have some terrific plot lines for the new movie. <laughs> if you've been listening to the show, Jimmy's coming up with some doozies. Yeah. Oh, they're wonderful. They're Dice whole... had a great line about um, Sarah Jessica Parker. He's like, what kind of, I don't know, what, what kind of role model she is. She's fucking all these guys. She goes, she's fucked so many guys that her pussy looks like Rocky's eye. <laughs> 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 it, there, I, I couldn't imagine being dragged to this fucking thing no. and and having to sit and watch that drivel. That 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 th th these are are four women way past the prime yeah. that where guys would go and look and and fantasize or yes. anything. Like who's who's thinking it's like about the older her? one assuming that 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 younger men find her attractive. It's not the case. No. It's if you're going to, if you're having sex with a young guy, it's because either he's drunk or you have more money than he does. Yeah, there's no other reason. Or he's just really horny and wants yeah. to shoot a load. And once yeah. that load comes out, your fucking value really plummets. <laughs> really fucking plummets. Like a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's you're like fucking... I thought I was doing so well. Oh, oh it's just a big drop off. Oh, see, I got in oh. the pyramid scheme a little too late. <laughs> yeah. Like you're in Atlantic oh. City and you're on a roll of craps. You won like ten hands in a row. Yeah. You put it all up. I yeah. should have walked you lose. away. I should have walked away. <laughs> just walk away. You, uh, yeah, the, like the, that Samantha character is just an old tranny. Yeah. Looks like a big fucking shouldered old hands fucking just tranny. I, I just like the way that she's seen as the paragon of wisdom on the show. Yeah. What has she done right? I see. I hate to tell you, I know everything about this show. I've I seen don't doubt it. I bought. Yeah, I bought season like one through four one time. Yeah, but because ooh. I was doing nothing and I watched them all in a row. But you're not watching. You're watching it as a goof. I don't. I I'm guess dissecting I, was it, right? it good? I started. I was started. It good? There are actually some very honest portrayals oh of what God. life is like in New York between men and women. Tell us about it, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was for a project. Okay, it was project. For a project. What's next? <laughs> so what? The, were there funny moments in? I've never seen the show. Uh, yeah, there, I mean, if you live I in New wanna, York, yeah, yeah, yeah they, it, it definitely they, captures they how, capture New York yeah, and how guys treat women. I mean, it, 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 it's 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 not completely sugar coated. I mean, she gets they get dumped a lot, which is you know yeah. gratifying. All right, that that would be kind of fun to watch. <laughs> yes, and, and guys dump a lot. Yeah, do that's they have true. interracial <laughs> relationships? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Okay. Yes, I think there was Boo! one. <laughs> <Boo>! <laughs> Speaking of which, here's a segue for you. Greg Gutfeld's new book. Uh, that makes me laugh. The Bible of Unspeakable Truths in bookstores now. Black celebs can be more racist than white bigots. Oh, you're so right, man. It's, uh, I mean. I'm trying to change that. Look, I mean, the perfect example is Danny Glover. 
Mm-hmm. The things that come come out of his mouth are are, are almost always either anti white or 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 bonkers. I or mean, I'm getting too old for this shit in movies. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Charles right. Barkley too. Yeah, yeah, yeah but Charles it's, Barkley. Uh, they, uh, it's true. It's they get a free pass. Uh, mm-hmm. Black celebrities get a free pass on on. Uh, when it comes to any kind of racial argument, and uh, I mean, there's just too many to mention. It could but, be outrageous too. Yeah. It could be some outrageous racial statement, yeah. and people just be like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, and they can, and and then and they can laugh it off. Yeah. it's like, oh, look, you know, that's that's uh, what I do. I'm an African American celebrity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Whitey has a, a a real hard time pulling that off. Yeah. Well, uh, you're and referring called, to called onto the carpet. You're referring to Imus, though, when you say white bigot, right? Yeah. <laughs> No. Yes, of course. I can't. I can't uh, say that. White, white bigger. <laughs> yeah. But even remember the college football now. It's a Bob Greasy, some Mexican guy. They go, "Where is he at? He's supposed to be playing. Uh, maybe he's out getting a taco." A taco. He had. Yeah, a, yeah. He got suspended a game, and yeah. he had to apologize. Yeah. And they actually, maybe the player, maybe he's out getting a taco, yeah, and out, they friggin' had a lot of outrage. And the player. Said, yeah, I, pr- I think the player, act- they interviewed him later, and he's like, well, maybe I was getting I, a talk. Probably he, was. Said, he, said, he said that it, he thought it was funny and fine. And I mean, sure, you know, that goes back to Greasy just being from a different generation where you said things like that. Yep. Yeah. It's not It's not it's mean-spirited. It's just that's what and guys it, say. Even if the guy was in the room, he would say, go get a taco. Because exactly. that's, and if the, if the person doesn't take offense to it yeah. and says, yeah, I probably was getting a taco, whose business is it of anyone else yeah. to say that you have to apologize <laughs> To the public. Well, yeah. there's no need to make to get laughs at the expense of somebody else's beliefs or gender or race. Oh, you know what, pussy you know Jimmy. <laughs> you know what's great? He's saying that at, what, 8 in the morning while eating a salad. You're eating yeah. a salad at 8 in the morning. I am. I don't okay. believe in uh, meat is murder. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing with a face or family. Yes. <laughs> Tee-hee. Unless it's a pussy. <laughs> well, Greg, I don't know, man. This book looks like it's going to do very well for I've read you. a lot yeah, of it. I hope so. Yeah. It is good toilet reading and i say that uh, not in a negative way i read when i, I eat when i sh- i read when i, 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 I eat, eat when, when i shit, shit yes <laughs> i eat, I eat shit, shit too yes. <laughs> yeah i read no. while i shit and it's a great book to bring in it's like a fucking you know what i mean take a dump you can read like a couple and you can flip forward i like books like this because you don't have to again you don't have to be married to going page one to page 300 you can go you know just fucking jump forward to another chapter could or i get another... it on itunes and put it read, read it on my ipad i think i I'm going to say yes without having any knowledge I whatsoever. I would just say if I was <laughs> you, I'd go, yes, <laughs> yes, do yes, it. Yes. Download it. This is a legit book. It's, it'll be available for the iPad. Yeah, it yeah. better be. Oh, I did fucking an... Norton quote on the back. Yeah. Yeah. Should, that. As yeah. every book should. Yes. Greg Gutfeld is a brilliantly funny writer and social commentator. This is the first time anyone has asked me to write a blurb <laughs> for their book. It's even less fun than I thought it would be. Jim <laughs> Norton. <laughs> Yes. Would you, would you would you like this interview if it was all like just calling you out on the? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. You should be able to choose whom you donate your organ to. <laughs> Do you really believe that? <laughs> I mean, a very combative, yeah. confrontational. So, that's, I, I purposely a nice wrote a book. book. I purposely wrote a book so that would never happen. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so, Greg, a uh, man who spent too much time in Thailand and never the same. That is what you really believe, huh? <laughs> Mr. Gutfeld. I perused through your book last night and. I have a ear uh, earmarked. If you... All right, we get it. And, and you got Penn Jillette Yeah, to he, do the forward. He wrote the. How he, great is Penn Jillette? He's awesome. But the funniest thing is he didn't read the book when he was doing it. Oh, so, really? Yeah, he was uh, emailing me back and forth, and uh, and then uh, we got into this huge debate over atheism because he's an atheist. Yes, yes. And uh, and uh, uh, I'm I don't know what I am, but it's th- so that ended up being the forward of him and I going back and forth, and I think he read maybe twenty percent of the book. But uh, uh, he's a great guy. He's a genius. Does great radio. Yeah. He's really fantastic. Does. The guy is uh, – also, he's really, really tall. Have you been around him? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's been yeah. on the show. Yeah. I can, like, fit he's, in He's got to tr- be 6'9". Six, 6'5". Six, six, five, yeah. six, 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 six. is nothing. Yeah. I think he dwarfs uh, Kenny even. He's yeah, a he's, big fucking yeah. dude. When he's, on the sh- when he's on Red Eye, I seriously – my eyes are right on his belt buckle. Is that and, on and, purpose? And, and by choice, yes. <laughs> by choice. <laughs> that, that, that stopped the show. Right I know, there. it really did. Know what happened. Okay. Yeah. What do you I want guess the visual, do with that? The visual was too, uh, yeah. too so, alarming for 8.30 in the also, morning. Also, because we had to get you in the, at the same time, and I apologize, we went late. We got Jim Florentine in yeah. the studio as well. And Love Jim. Having, and Jim's having a kid. Yeah. That's public knowledge, because Jimmy said it on the air, so. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, congratulations, man. Yeah, September. Excited? Boy, yeah, absolutely. First one. Wow. Kid likes metal already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whenever he's put metal on, he starts kicking like crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. 
doing little devil horns on the sonogram. It's everybody's I hope doing that, I hope that's what it is. I hope he's not going, turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> well, because she went to a country Play concert. Play Barbara Streisand. <laughs> she went to a country concert Saturday night. Not one kick. She's like, I think something's wrong with the baby. I said, well, hold on. I put some fucking some, Slipknot some on. Some or and then, and then all of a sudden, the kid started kicking like crazy. I'm like, beautiful. Are we friends with the bassist who just died? Yeah. You did know him, right? Yeah, I did know him well, yeah. What was his name? I don't Paul know. Gray. Yeah, Paul Gray, 38. Yeah. I'm found dead in a hotel in Iowa, man. Brutal. Do they think it was drugs or they have no idea yet? Um, I don't know. They didn't say, but he was in a hotel room yeah. why is by it, himself. A hotel, why is a hotel room by yourself? That is like the, when you die at 38, <laughs> when you die at 38, hotel room by yourself. That's always the next two words that follow. Well, yeah. I think there's some fleeing going on, too, though. Yeah. I think there might have been. Not in this case. I don't know. Right. But in some of these cases, there's someone else in the room and, go, and they're like, uh, fuck this. I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah. I Hendrix would have lived if his chick would have just called. She was afraid of the cops. But if she had just called the paramedics or whatever, they said Hendrix would have lived. But she was so afraid of getting busted with the drugs they had in the room. I think, yeah, sometimes people just don't call because they're afraid of getting yeah, fucking busted. Yeah, but then now we'd have to deal with a fucking 70-some-odd-year-old Hendrix. Yeah, but imagine the... <laughs> <laughs> He probably probably would've. Would've, I'm sure he would have died before. I don't. You think? Well, yeah. Who think knows? He, would, he might have just. A vegan. He would, I don't know. If he lived, we wouldn't have needed Lenny Kravitz. That's ah. true. <laughs> Although he nice. probably would have been like in the traveling Wilburys. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So there's just some people that. Uh, sorry to say, it's probably better they went a little earlier. You know, I talk, I asked my doctor Jim Morrison. This. Yeah, you don't want to see big fat Jim Morrison because you know he had He'd that. Be playing Vegas. You know by he now. was. Yeah. He was. He'd be bald too. He was capable be of being bald and fat. <laughs> yes. And just like. He looked like Val Kilmer. You'd see, yes, <laughs> Val Kilmer. Val yeah, Kilmer now, fat and losing his hair. Yeah. But he'd be on those. Mu you know when you put on the music channels yeah. on your cable provider and they show them now, like they show like Leonard Skinner, yeah. but it's now and stuff. So, who wants to see like Jim Morrison yeah. and, and hear about his gigs at Westbury Music Fair and <laughs> just shit that it's it's better. He's a legend now, rock legend. Was it, do you think the Doors were really that good? I no. loved them. I yeah, love the I Doors. Say, I say overrated. And hates them. I love them. Kinda, I think the sound uh, got monot it's one of the. It's a very, phase. There's a band. Well, there are bands that you go through phases. Yeah. You go through a Doors phase when that's all you listen to, and then you can't return to it for some reason. But no, Greg, it's like I, puberty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're right about the Doors. I absolutely. Uh, uh, Morrison Hotel was a great record. And, um, the problem with the Doors is they played the same fucking songs on the radio over and over yeah, again. That, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you go yeah, a little yeah. deeper with the Doors, they have some solid Peace Frog. Yeah, Peace Frog. Five to one. Yeah, one some... in five. <laughs> Backdoor Man. Backdoor they never man. played that on the radio. No, Roadhouse Blues. They didn't play Backdoor Man a lot. Can't That's the point of making. They, they should have played Backdoor Man vocals a vocals and some of those songs. Oh, Texas Radio. I did love Blues Next, though. Texas I thought Radio was the big best. beat. That's the right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Florentine, you know, you know the Doors? You're yeah, my brother got me into the Doors when I was um, younger, yeah. What's your favorite Doors song? Probably, um... A peace frog, I would say. What about waiting for the sun? That's a good, a good one. Waiting, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> All right, are you waiting? Waiting <laughs> for you. I to know. Live. Light my I fire know. is probably in my top five worst songs yeah. of all time. Yeah. Like because you know, that's because the radio blew that out. Jose Feliciano brought yes. that back well, in a huge fire, way. Light my fire, light my fire, light my fire. Yeah, he, well, he light really my did. fire. They got rid of the cool solo because yes. they had to fit into a four-minute spot on the radio. <laughs> True story. See, this is what I mean. It's turning they you into fuck, a... You're, they fucked up the doors. You're a teenage you. boy when you talk about the doors. I it's love a phase. The doors. Yeah, you it get really into is. it and you, you know. Right. I, yeah. Yeah. I could still listen to the doors. That was the well. first book I ever read was No One Here Gets Out Alive. Great Even before book. any books in school. My brother was <laughs> like, like, read this. And it was, that it came was out in 2007. <laughs> 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 that was a great fucking book. So, so your brothers were into the Doors, and you went metal, Jim. Well, they got me. Then they got me into Nugent and Sabbath and Priest. And you've had a rough week, Dio, ACDC. I know your boy from Slipknot. A little rough. Man. I read this morning. I thought Dio was supposed to be okay. That was we the last thing we him, all heard. We interviewed him a month before for the Golden God Awards out in L.A., and he just the cancer came back. So, look, stomach cancer. Wait, you, you saw yeah. him a, uh, a, a month, month before, before he died? we interviewed him for How this. Do you he looked good. He said, look, it came back. I got to get this poison out of my system, but I'm going to do the summer um, festivals over in Europe. Um, it's kicking my ass right now, but I'm going to be okay. And he just and he was doing good, and it just took a turn for the worst that, like, within two weeks. We had a buddy, a comedian guy, Ray Garvey, yeah. who, same thing, had stomach cancer. And within two weeks, he was doing good, gone. But didn't, what, what like, I think when Ow. Ray announced it or when they found out Ray like had it, it was, like, stage four. Out. Yeah, but he was he, he was clean. He, he went through chemo and radiation for a year, was clean, and then th three, four months later, it came back. Uh, How about with Dio? What, what's, you know, what, where was it when they found it? I don't think it was, sta I think it was probably, like, stage two to three. But still, that stomach cancer, and you, you know, and he, you know, he was a little guy. 
But it went away, and then what happens? It just comes back larger? I don't know. How does it, like, how I like how Jim is pretending like he's concerned about Dio when he's actually, these questions are about himself. Oh, no, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Jim is like, uh, I know. He had a stomach ache. Well, you know, Jimmy. Yeah, 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 that yeah, was you his do. diarrhea, Jim. It was no, just, but yeah. you wonder how it works yeah. because, of course, like, I, I want to go get checked up, but it's like. You can't, did, does it come back? How does it just come back and kill you? I don't it's get like it. the fucking Grim Reapers constantly following you around after yeah, that, and you got, got to constantly worry about it. You didn't, you didn't get oh. that little piece that's just kind of oh. hanging out. Yeah, that Jesus. sucks though, man. You hear about the the church there? Yeah, they're going to show. They're going to the funeral, oh, the Westboro what Baptist assholes. Church. Yeah. They really are assholes. They're going to be at the uh, Ronnie James Dio Memorial Service. That's where, that's that's where it'll get beat up. Metalheads. Yeah, oh, Dio, yeah, maybe. Dio fans. Are Absolutely. Guys, guys are coming from all over the world because this oh, is an open you can invite. Only hope. You know, yeah. that's the guy. That's the, you know, you think the military guys might, but they got some discipline where they won't. But these metal guys, some of them that live in their mom's guess, basement, got nothing. I got nothing. Got, right, nothing, got nothing, nothing to lose. lose. They don't give a shit. But that's nothing a great point. Westboro Baptist Church will never go to a rap funeral. Never. They've never been. I've never seen those fucking towers. shot in the head. I've never seen those fucking cowards yeah. in South Central Los Angeles at a Crips or Bloods funeral yeah. protesting the anti-God behavior. Yeah, do Never. That. Do Never. that, you faggot, you Never. pussy. Come on. Do you think they're just performance art? Like, they pick the, oh, ultimate, wow. the ultimate the ultimate, ultimate ridiculous, art. like, stance because they're doing it for, like, 30 years later. You'll find out it's a Warholian uh, like, trip. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, ladies well, you, we, did the, we did this purely to show you the, the absurdity of the media. And they're actually professors or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, think that, I think that they're just, they pick their targets very safely. Yeah. And you're right. They know military guys have discipline and they're going to be protected by the police. Mm -hmm. But they would never go into fucking South Central LA yeah. and do that shit. Ne are they here for the gay pride too. parade yelling faggot oh, and queer? Not. I would love to see them down here on fucking in the village. Beli Some tranny would fucking cut them with a box cutter. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would oh, yeah. Well, go down to the meatpacking district without yeah. police protection. Yeah. Just start yelling faggot at, yeah. the, at the trannies. All right. What no. time? Oh, I thought you were no. suggesting some fun for after the show. You know so, I mean? Some metalhead from Des Moines, <laughs> Iowa, with a, with a mullet, not, believe me, is going to go right yeah. at him. He don't give a shit. Yeah. Do you know they sent me a press release? They actually work on this stuff. It's, yeah. a seri it's serious business. They they say, they tell you what they're going to do. They have contacts. It's it's you know They know what they're doing. Because they need the police protection. They what? hate the society. They hate the government, but they need the police to protect them. Would you have them on Red Eye, Greg? Uh, no, because you know what? It would end up being... Me yelling at it's it's such an obvious it would it would just unfold predictably and I'd end up doing something really stupid. Yeah. Mm. Um the only person I've seen handle them uh is is Ron Ron Bennington from the Ron and Fez show. Mm -hmm. He's got a gimmick with them where they'll they'll get on the phone and talk and he just talks very as a matter of fact and just lets them go and pretty much throws these little jabs in at him, but not this yelling match. Yeah. That's how it, that, anything, that's how it devolves. And that's what they want. They want yeah. a yelling match. They want to yell, you son of a they bitch. Know yeah. Who are you? To and then they're yelling you. about yeah. fucking yeah. this and their, their religious shit. And, and it always degenerates that. But, but uh, Ronnie will just sit there and talk to him. You know what would be good is to do the interview and then, because we're, we're, you know, we're on tape delay by a couple hours, and then edit in like lots of homoerotic footage. <laughs> so you just do the real pro, a pro interview and you just drop yeah. in everything they hate. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, They'll never work. know. They'll no. never know. Yeah, what you no. want to do is shit, is, is take yourself wearing like fucking like a leather hat yeah. and fucking like a leather, a nipple exposing outfit and fucking dress right, like that. for reaction shots. Exactly. Yeah. You just there, That's big... what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Do. Ball <laughs> gag and a chin Dude, you gotta do that. <laughs> yeah, what are the two guys making that. out? Yeah, exactly. As they're talking. Have to do that. Dude, please, can I be oh, on that? What you yeah. do is you go to the panel and it's me, Bill, and someone else <laughs> all wearing fruity leather outfits. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do that. We have to do that. Hopefully they don't they they don't get up early enough to listen to this. Oh. We have to do that like in the next two weeks. Tweaking nipples. Yes. That yes. That it's the best cool. thing I've ever that heard. Is that That's is great. great. I bet they'll come on anyway. Even they if they, yeah. they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they will, they'll they'll argue with anybody. They don't care. They're, they they, they like they're publicity, publicity horse. Yeah, they publicity love horse. publicity. Crystal <laughs> ship animals. <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> I, I like the, the door. I saw the Doors cover band, Crystal Ship. Yeah, there we go. Oh uh, yeah, we had. I saw the Crystal oh. Ship covers band. Uh, <laughs> really? uh, nothing, but, uh, there probably is one. <laughs> we had a Doors cover band on Long Island when we were sort of growing up. Yeah, what was I guess his in my twenties, and they would bring them. They would bring them on stage on a door. Remember that? Uh, what was the name wow. of that fucking band? That's, that's it horrendous. Was, uh, yeah, that's, that's... Bo, Bo Holtz was the guy's name. Was it him? Bo Holtz was and, the and He played Jim Morrison to a chain all fucked up. But he was fat. 
Yeah, he was fat, and then and they, they would, would drag him on stage Jim on a Moriton. door from, from the back of the, the venue all the way to the stage. That's how he made his appearance on a door. Yeah. L.A. Oh. Woman, thank you. Oh, I get it because they called the door. The name of the band was L.A. Woman. I don't know if that's the band. I think, I think it was it Bo Holtz and L.A. Woman. Yeah. Uh, they, and and they did this hacky thing where. It was like when he'd sing Mr. Mojo Rising, he yeah. would start climbing a ladder <laughs> slowly because wow. he was rising. It was just the worst hack <laughs> fucking shit. Did he sound like him? Yeah, he kind of had the, the, the whole thing down. And he was one of those tribute band guys that walk around all the time as, as yeah. a guy. It's like one thing to be in a tribute band. You know, my brother's in one. But it's another one to walk around as the guy all the fucking you, time. Wait, you, what band is your brother in? Uh, to you, you too. Oh, no, really? Of course, to you. To you. It's always got to be is some he? kind Does of. Does he have to wear a band? Is he? Is he Edge? Is he? He's Edge. It's, oh, that's he's the Edge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He has to be Edge. You know, he plays guitar, and uh, and he's bald. It's just he's got the cap uh, on yeah, all the yeah. time. Oh yeah, yeah. He and he sha shaved head, of he course. He goes through a lot of Bonos though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really can't Bonos. Keep, can't keep a Bono even the tribute for... even the tribute band singers got attitudes. They do. They're the worst. By the way, yeah, probably. Yeah, they they think that like, guy. He had one Bono that looked exactly like Bono and could not sing. And they finally had to get rid of him. He blew yeah. out his voice, right, or something. Yeah, I kind of like that. Now they Bono. got. He was uh, all right. Now he's got Pepe Marcello's son from fucking <laughs> the uh, Good, Good Rats. Rats. Oh, really? Yeah, he's singing. Wait, he's Bono? Yeah, he's good. He's really good. Does he look like Bono? Yeah. You know, once you put the fucking dopey glasses on and shit. Anybody looks like him, yeah. yeah you, you just, just put the... do that. You've got to have a generic kind of look, and you you put the fucking cowboy hat and the glasses <laughs> yeah. on, and you're Bono. Make those dumb moves. It's going to yeah. be weird, dude. It's going to be weird if you're a tribute guy getting groupies based on that other guy. On the other like, guy, what, right, is, right. is the groupie like a like just a faded like copy a of tribute, a real groupie? She's a tribute groupie. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> tribute groupie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Terrible. it's uh, like he. She has to pretend that he's actually Bono when she's having sex with him. Like, does yeah. he know that? That Dude, like you can't get out of character. You have to be don't Bono. Don't talk unless you use an accent. Yes. Right. Yeah. There's rules. Keep the glasses and hat on. No guy would complain though. No. no. Yeah. Why would you give a shit? <laughs> yeah, exactly. no. Girls would be like, "Why don't you like me for me?" All oh, it's just the character. The guy would be like, "Blow me." Yeah. This is great. When I used to have long hair, Bon Jovi just started hitting big. I was down to Jersey Shore in Long Beach Island at a bar, and some these chicks thought I was Bon Jovi. And this girl comes like, "You're Bon Jovi." I'm like, "Yeah." I go, "I better let's get out of here because it's gonna get crazy." I'm in the fucking car, I'm making yeah. out with her. I got my hand down her pants. Like, I've been a fan since the first album. I'm like, "Real, that's great." She's like, "When's the new one coming out?" I'm like, "I don't know. Sometime soon." Yeah. Mugging it out. Great. And then she invited me to a party. Party the next day because her son, like her eight year old son, was a huge Bon Jovi fan. It's like, please come, my guy, let me think about him. And then the next day, I'm like, look, I had to call a kid on the phone and tell him I couldn't come because I had to go in a recording studio because I didn't want Bon Jovi to get a bad name because yeah, yeah, yeah. because she wound up jerking me off. So I'm like, all right, I should at least make a call to the kid the next day. Do you know she's been telling people she jerked off Bon Jovi for 30 years? I so I called so, the kid, so the kid's so excited. <laughs> we all have. We've all done that. <laughs> she bought it all the way to the end? Oh, and she wanted me to come to the barbecue that's, the next day, but I knew I'd be busted. Uh, like, come on, I knew it was going to be busted. Be so Somebody got busted. busted. Yeah, Somebody yeah. there would be like, oh, they all fucked my Jovi. What did you, you jerk that guy off? That's that's not not Jovi. Jovi. It'd be great if the only person who knew that you weren't him was the kid. <laughs> And you had to threaten the kid. Right, yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck Don't up. Don't tell your kid. mom. Yeah. I'm fucking your mother. It's I'm, our I'm secret. your new mom's boyfriend, John Bon Jovi. <laughs> yeah, I was at the quarter deck at down in Long Beach Island. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The quarter deck. That's hilarious. Wow. That is really yeah. funny. Yeah. Jerk him I, but I had to call. I felt like I had to call the kid the next day. I didn't want to. Some chick yeah. in Canada thought you were some fucking ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Didn't you fucking... Wait, what was that? Jim's a genius. He just played it off. What was the fucking... Some uh, some stripper in Canada <laughs> said, we were at a strip club, me and Bob Levy, and she's like, Curtis? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Curtis from Calgary? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you remember me? I'm like, I... Um... You don't remember me. I'm like, well, your hair's different. You always go to the hair. Yeah. Because yeah. the, the day before, it's different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to have a perm. You see, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you remember me? Oh, and I'm like, yeah, um, yeah, I sort of. Got, she's like, you know what this asshole did to me? And Bob's like, what? And she goes, he picked me up at a bar. His band played one night. And we, um, we went to his back to his house. We had you're sex. you're nodding yes, like, yeah. We yeah, had yeah. sex. And she goes, and then you, you threw me out and made me walk home in a snowstorm like three miles. <laughs> and it's something that I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, look, I'm sorry. I was going through a lot of things at that time. I had this ex. And she's like, I can't believe you did. I'm like, she goes, I haven't heard from you. Where you been? I say, yeah, I moved up to here. I was in Toronto at the time doing gigs. Yeah. Oh, she's shit. Like, oh, my. And I'm, I'm making out with her in the park a lot. She's like, you got to come to this party. I was telling her about you. I used to see your band. That was another one I couldn't go. 
<laughs> be, I'm like, as I'm some, sorry. As some girl gets out of her car and goes, Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up. Did I, fuck, it didn't I, run. And then she kept saying how she goes, I hate American men. She goes, I could tell an American accent in a second. And me and Levy got the fucking worst accents yeah. ever. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. She goes, oh, I could spot them a mile away. I hate Americans. I'm like, yeah, I hate them too. Oh, fuck Did you get a blowjob or no? No, we were making out outside and... You know, you know, no matter was, how much you pound it, you can't get that tender. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was a day one, so it was kind of like oh during the day. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. That's a little hard. You have rules then. <laughs> yeah, never in the day. Florentine. No, the strippers don't because <laughs> yeah, they're you know yeah. they they, they got to go home. Yeah, and yeah. They Curtis, don't put that. They got to stare at their baby. Down. But and then after what she put that she put the homeless outfit on. You know, yeah. the strippers when they're off their shift, they yeah. put that homeless outfit on. Yeah. The t shirt that like passed the knees. Yes. Yeah. And the baggy sweats. Yeah. And the hair in a bun, and they got the cock blocker friend to pick yeah. them up and drive of them home. Course. That they're trying to get in their pants for fifteen years. Oh, they're they're guy friends. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's that guy. the worst. Oh, <laughs> they are always sitting there fucking looking at you all suspect because you're slipping her, you know, a little extra money or something. And they're looking good. Too. Well, you're yeah. not getting anything from this. How long you've been driving her around? Yeah. I and he, 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 in his head, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her away from all this. Yeah. And the yeah. fact is, you, your life is worse than hers. Yeah. Why would she go with you? She's not gonna <laughs> fucking go with you yet. Uh, so I've Dennis, sat in strip clubs for so many fucking, so many times, <laughs> and, and like last part of the beer, you're ready to yeah. leave, uh -huh. and then another stripper walks in the door with her bag over her shoulder yeah. and stuff. You're like. Ah, no, I got to see her naked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got the opportunity to see her naked. I'm going to see her naked. Fucking yeah, because Dennis... she doesn't come in hot either. No, no. They but you got, like I got, yeah, you got to see that. Yeah. It's like I have the opportunity to see her nude. Why am I leaving? What do they do? That do they? Is there a show that does like a stripper makeover? That's a great idea. Like bring women in and turn them into strippers, and vice versa. Mm. That would be a fun mm. show to watch. Oh, what, like and turn strippers into like fucking yeah housewives. Regular, but housewife I'd rather see the opposite. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, so too. Yeah. Florentine yeah, has the best stories though, man. They're all true, <laughs> though. They're, they're all true, right? Jim stops at the fucking. Uh, we always quote Jim because he's he'll actually stop you at like the fucking. Quarantine. No one else gets it out at, there, but at the turnpike, at the fucking, uh, he'll stop at the tolls and ask the turnpike guys for coffee. Like uh, I heard you guys were serving coffee. Yeah, I'm like I got a uh, coffee. He's like, what? You know, fucking miserable. I'm like, what are you talking? about? I got my friend said, if you're tired, um, you can get coffee. The rest of the guys are like, where's a where would you think a coffee pot would be back here? Tell me where I put it. I'm like, I don't know. I've never been in one of those before. I'm not sure. <laughs> they just like, get really oh, mad. Yeah, oh, they go crazy. I'm like, you got any gum, a bagel, something that can hold me over until I get to the rest stop? <laughs> to be, oh, yeah, they, they hate you. An just hand a prescription to them. Can you fill this, please? <laughs> And then there was one time those turnpike tickets, you know, you had the ticket and you had to <laughs> yeah, give it to them yeah. at the end. Me and my friend, like from exit one all the way up to 16, were just picking our nose and putting boogers <laughs> on the back of the ticket. And my friend was pulling these huge ones out. Oh, my God. He was calling nose meat. They were so big. And we stuck them all on the back of the ticket. <laughs> I went to get the guy the ticket. And he went to Greg. Whoa! He pulls his hand back. He goes, what's on that ticket? I go, I don't know. I was eating uh, a sandwich, maybe lettuce. He's like, I'm not touching that ticket. I go. He's like, take that off, and it all stuck. I go, look, I don't know what it is. Lettuce. And the guy just took it like, just like this, with his, like tweezers, just grabbed the end of it. He was miserable. That is so fucking disgusting. And, and, and they were dead. I'm telling you, time. three quarters oh, of the ticket was covered in snots. <laughs> Nose meat. Nose meat, my friend. Nose meat. I don't think that stuff could be worse than what they're giving you, though, because if they're, if they're in there for eight hours, God, yeah, touching they, everything. They've yeah, invented yeah. even more sinister ways to screw with us. Oh. I mean, much, Probably because yeah. they're so angry. I don't know why they don't. They're not just inmates. Like if you could, like, why can't they put prisoners in there? Just put that? bars on yeah, there. Just, they can yeah. get their hand out. Yeah, and, I don't get it. Yeah, fuck. Up. They should all be gone. By the way, yeah. I mean, with Easy Pass, yeah. shit like that. I, I would never. I have two cars, so sometimes if I take the other car and forget to grab the Easy Pass, mm. and you, you're coming up to a toll and you go. Oh fuck! Yeah, and you got to go to the cash lane. Yeah, it's, I'm like this is it's primitive. like traveling back in time to yeah. 1992. What the hell is this? <laughs> I'm in a '66 Rambler with my dad. <laughs> Get that? He's driving through, throwing the change. Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch, sit back, shut up, get me a beer. <laughs> hey, uh, what, did I just say that? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> it was in my head. <laughs> you want a break? You, you want to continue? Jimmy lost stormed Norm? out. Well, he's got his bladder. He's got to, like, pee. Bladder like a minutes. hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> really uh, does. Kevin Federline is a genius, Greg Gutfeld, going back to your book. Uh, any, I mean, think about what he did. Mm. He's never. He will never have to work again. All he had to do was impregnate a rich pop star and uh, he's fine. He's got no. He he was never going to be 
uh, famous or he was never going to be a star. But now mm -hmm. he's got everything he needs. And he can walk into any club or bar and get laid. Yeah. They, it's like he, it, he, you couldn't have planned a better life. He's like our royalty. You know, <laughs> royalty cannot work because uh, the Brits are embarrassed by that. That's why, you know, what's her face had to bribe to, you know, oh, whatever. Fergie. Because they're not Fergie, allowed to work. Yeah. He's like our royalty. He Fergie. can't work now. Fergie. Fergie. Yeah, but he's, it's, it, he's a genius. If we'd all thought of this. It, it is. And, and what, what's the hardest thing you had to do? Fuck the hot yeah. Britney Spears. He's like a he's like a groupie for like an NBA star. That's what he did. He got knocked yeah. up. You know, you try to find the, you try to find the best player, get knocked up, and never work again. <laughs> he did that, but he did it in reverse. Amazing! Got, wow! Yeah. Yeah. Never thought, I always thought he was an asshole. Look no, no, that. he's a genius. <laughs> Silly me. While he's, while he's moving his hat sideways just to get that right tilt, <laughs> right. he's laughing at you. Yes. He's laughing at you. That's that's the only thing he has to do every day exactly. is make sure the tilt is right <laughs> exactly. in his hat. Exactly. But Anthony, Imagine I mean, going through life and that's all you have to worry about. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck, Anthony, I picture you right. like 23 years old. Right. Who was hot at that time? I don't know. I don't Tiffany? Know. <laughs> All right, Debbie Gibson. Yeah, Debbie Gibson. All right. Just yes. say you guys are close in age, right? Debbie Gibson. Fucking guy from Long Island just putting okay. air-conditioned units in. Right. You meet Debbie Gibson. Actually, she takes Annette, like Annette Funicello, I'm thinking. <laughs> Shut up. The girl, the girl that played Nancy Drew. Right. <laughs> Would you Nancy not? Drew Mysteries. Yes. <laughs> You'd knock her up. You're like, oh, holy yeah. shit. I'm it's like, look at that. I, I knocked up Debbie Gibson. Yeah. As, yeah, with her silly hats and her electric youth song. Uh, electric youth. Yeah, it solves a lot of problems. Nah, you, wow. you know, the bigger problems in life. I don't know if you could have pulled it off in the 80s, though, like that. Yeah. So when we... Uh, Did anyone do that in the 80s with what? anybody? I don't think so. Wow, he really is a trendsetter. Yeah, yeah. kind of... He got that down. That is a I don't tough think, move. I don't think, yeah. Knocking think up right. a fucking hot... Like, first, you gotta, you gotta score the hot chick yeah. by not being a famous guy. That's hard enough. Britney Spears was like prime. This happens when he got all her. the women do this all the time with professional athletes. It's never been the reverse. This is uh, the only one I yeah. can think of. You know, that's why yeah. I always go when people make fun of him. I go, he's smarter than all of us. He's worth millions, and he hasn't ever had to do a damn thing Master, except yeah. you know have sex with Britney Spears. Oh, Ken Fenelon, Ken Fenelon, yeah, he's yeah. fucking, yeah, he's yeah. a genius, man. He's yeah. the man. All he's right, got to be all cock, though. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Yeah, ex dancer like that. I disagree. Like, I disagree. Yeah. I disagreed with you. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be, be the cock. Got to gotta be the cock. That's in the next chapter <laughs> yes, here in my yes. book. It's um. Yeah. Well, why don't we take a break? Uh, the Bible of Unspeakable Truths in bookstores now. Greg Gutfeld's fourth book. Look yeah. at you. And of course, the host of Red Eye, which everyone loves. Yeah, uh, and you were you were a guest on your own show last night. I'm yeah, actually, uh, Jimmy and Anthony were on, uh, and uh, I was interviewed over uh, about my book by Mike Baker, who's a former CIA guy. He's he's been on here, right? We like oh, Mike a yeah. lot. He started doing our show. He's gonna yeah. be a regular yeah. on he's our a, show. He's awesome. We like him. He's just way too good looking. That's the that's. I the was problem. looking at dude. I was looking. I wanted to comment, but there was. Yeah. I'm looking at Mike Baker on his camera, and it was annoying me how handsome. No, he is. is it? A, it's movie star. The guy's a movie star, and like, I, it makes you just feel ugly just looking at him. And yeah. I know what it's like to be a girl. Now you know what it's yeah. like to be me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he was. And then when you take his uh, his whole history, yeah. that secret agent bullshit yeah, and everything, yeah, it's like you're James Bond, motherfucker. Yeah, he has right. the, and he can never answer. You, if you ask him no, anything, no, he will no. never give we you a straight tried. answer. We won't give you that straight answer. We tried, answer. man. Yeah. I wonder how many we fucking... We tried for an hour straight. Throats yeah. he slit through night vision yeah. goggles. Yeah. I did get... I got uh. him drunk one night, and he did tell me a story, which I can't repeat, but I finally realized, okay, this guy's legit. Oh, really? Yeah, it was yeah, one yeah, of those yeah. good ones? It was about a buddy of his getting in... Tr never mind. Uh, I can't believe... Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you know I what? wanted yeah. to do the show again. There's just, I, I would love for you to start telling the story and have one of these windows shatter. And we go, what was that? And as we're all looking, you're just slumping over in the seat yeah. with a fucking round right through your forehead. Exactly. Just blood pouring out of the what hole in the your window? forehead. Yeah, and you'd still have Mike Baker back on. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike just happened to stop by. <laughs> yeah, we'd be like, hey, it's a shame what happened to Greg Gustav. Yeah, yeah, oh, well. Yeah. Anyway, Mike, what do you got going on? Hey, uh, Florentine, what are you promoting before we go to break? Anything? I got uh, Jim's sheet here. Yeah. Oh. yeah Jim's going to be at the Wilbur Theater in Boston. Saturday, May 29th, uh, 7 o'clock. Is that, is that yeah, Saturday? Saturday? Oh, yeah. it's Saturday. Okay. Uh, you can go to Ticketmaster.com or thewilbertheater.com, but theater is spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. <laughs> it's up in Boston. It's a great gig I've done many times this Saturday at 7. Or Uncle Vinny's Comedy Club. Jim's been doing this, the one-man show, right? Yeah. I'm, well, I'm doing a regular show on Sunday night, Memorial Day Sunday, and then June 9th and 16th, one-man show there. Okay, Jeez. yeah. So for that, Busy. you can Club.com. 732-899-3900. I'm dying to see your one-man show. I've heard it's great. 
And season five of that metal show, Saturdays at 11, 10 o'clock on uh, Beach One Classic. It's also fucking doing really well. Yes. All right, we'll continue with nice. these guys in just a bit. Thanks for calling the Opie and Anthony FU line. Here's the latest batch of FUs. You have six new voice messages. First voice message. I'd like to give a big FU out to my job. You all can go fuck yourself due to the fact that you guys change shit without me knowing and I have to drive an hour to work. They could have called me today, but no, they had to be fucking idiots and say... Oh, by the way, we changed the muting, so you get, uh, you know, get the shaft and shit. Fuck you guys. Next message. This FU goes to my fucking stupid ass cat. At least fucking once a month, go through a goddamn, like, whole week of shitting and pissing on fucking owls and whatever, the, whatever the fuck it could find. Five fucking years and it still hasn't learned? Fucking die already, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Next message. Fuck you, Patty, for cursing Ronnie James Dio with your how did you survive all these years. Fucking fuck you. Next message. Oh my god, F you. Fuck you, Steve. Jesus, that promo is fucking awful. It doesn't even rhyme. Oh, it makes me so angry. Fuck you. Next message. I got a big F you for the governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Fuck you for fucking with state workers and trying to take their money. I got a 20-inch big black deal to put your ass, you Austrian bitch. Next message. I want to send out a fuck you to those giant Canadian geese. They shit everywhere. They honk. They hiss at you. Fuck off. End of new messages. Call the Opie and Anthony FU line. 866-FU-LINE-1. That's 866-FU-LINE-1. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Opie and Anthony. <laughs> On the virus. Serious XM. Blood in the streets, Jim Florentine. I like it. A little peace frog for everybody. Nah, 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 nah. How could you not like this? Come on, Ant. The Leslie Come on, having Ant. it with the, or- <laughs> the fucking keyboards. Ray, Ray Manzurk. <laughs> He's a trip. He's like 70-something now, too. No, he's, it, he's in a Doors tribute band. He might as well be. <laughs> yeah. No, who was the big dick of the band was the drummer. What was his name? Kramer? Was, no. Uh, Densmore? Or, Den- no, yeah, yeah. Uh, John Densmore, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a dick. He held back a lot of the door shit that could have been out there sooner and stuff. How could he, he have was, done anything? He was Bill a miserable Morrison guy. Morrison was the man. He wanted man. to just be a jazz drummer or something, and he fell into the doors. And, and he, he, I don't know. I don't know if he ever appreciated being in that band. Waiting! <laughs> Waiting! <laughs> oh, God, you an ass. Uh, where do you want to go now, Ann? We got Greg Godfeld. We got uh, Jim yes. Florentine. Indeed. Indeed. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, Greg's going to be a very busy man in the next couple of days, yeah. promoting the big book. He's going to be on Hannity tonight. That's cool. Hannity, huh? What are you, what are you on the great, 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 great American, American panel. panel? You've done that. Yes. It's, it's tough. They, have you, they, they give you four topics, and you gotta, yeah. you got to like read up and study. You almost it's have like to a, it's know like a pop about quiz. it. It's like a pop quiz. It, it, really, right. it, it, makes me, it makes you really nervous. I'm 45 years old. Why should I be feeling nervous about things? But that's like I'm afraid when I do that, like that I'm going to be caught out. Are you out. really? Yeah, I usually get pretty nervous. Why are you, you know afraid? That? You're on Fox every night. Yeah, but you that never. should be easy for you. Yeah, I guess. You guys got a lot of subjects, though, and, and stuff you got to kind of really know about. Some stuff I know about. Other things I'm like. I have nothing on it, <laughs> and I'm sitting there in the hotel toiling. Yeah. sometimes going like, I gotta come up with something, you, like at least entertaining about the uh, European economy. Yeah, the but you problem. Know, I'll tell you, I was telling this to Jim. The thing that I do when I come can't come up with uh, uh, an idea is I, I imagine what I would say if I was drunk. It's cause, 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 because because you know, like if you if you need to come up with something, go okay. If I'm in a bar, you should just have a few beers. Yeah, and then yeah. Go over the topic yeah. that he but wants you can, to you discuss. Can actually, you can pretend that you're drunk yeah, just by yeah, going you, okay. I, this is BS, man. You know what they got to do? They just you just got to get the hell away from I, Europe. Yeah. They're poisonous. And then you that's your opinion. I, I was t- I was telling you uh, <laughs> we use that. I was telling Greg during the break that all of a sudden because there's TV cameras in front of your face, you feel like you all of a sudden have to have an opinion on yeah. something you don't give a shit about. Yeah, yeah. It's, and so you have to. 
to become this weird little like uh, thirty second expert on yeah, something. Yeah, microphone does the same thing. Yeah. I've sat not so here, much on radio. No, I don't you know care what it is though. Anymore. I've I've sat here and pontificated mm. and fucking like emoted, just getting angry at something, and then I step back and think. I don't even care. Yeah, right. Why am I yelling? <laughs> I've done I that. I've written me monologues for my show, and I go back and I look at it. I go, I really didn't care. I could right. give yeah. a shit <laughs> about this. <laughs> yeah. No. But yeah, doing Hannity though is uh, yeah, you got to kind of step it up a little bit. Yeah. There's other people there that are. <laughs> oh yeah, you're sitting next to like you know ex politicians and uh, and they people with out. real lives, you not know like me. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel. I'm just sitting there like oh, I, I'm nothing. I've accomplished nothing. Yes, but they know all the names of the players yeah. and everything, and I'm just like that guy I that is. runs the department of the other thing. <laughs> I, I read something that, and, and you have no credibility. It's when they start talking about uh, uh, elections. Like, uh, who's going to lose seats and gain seats? And they're talking about stats. And I just go, oh, God. Oh, they know, they know like, everyone who's going to be in the Republican primary yeah. in fucking Kansas. And, and you're just like, well, I don't know these people. Yeah, I know. The only politicians I know are the ones that cheat on their wives yeah. and are in the news. I'm yeah, like, oh, I, I, I never heard this guy. He's been, a lot of them now. He's, he's been there for 35 years. I've never heard this dude. I like him now. Yeah. <laughs> I was asking Gutfeld about the Arizona thing. He's got a good take on it. Yeah? Yeah. What, uh, what, 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 what did I then? say? Uh, Basically, uh, I'll say, <laughs> oh, I said, I, I, I said it was like... Um, I like your take on it, it, it A lot of people it, are opinionated yeah. on something that doesn't affect them. Yeah, it's like, imagine somebody from Arizona coming to New York and telling you uh, that the subway toll should go up. It's like, shut up, you don't live here. And that's how I feel about these uh, these. People in Arizona are acting because the United States isn't acting for them. The government isn't right. doing its job, and they're they're worried about the crime. They're worried about all the, the all the problems that come with illegal immigration. They're doing something about it, and it's basically a symbolic gesture to uh, to Obama. You gotta you gotta step up. But having people like on uh, from from another country, the UN of all oh, places, know, yeah. the UN coming here and telling us. That we're like violating human rights. The UN are nothing but thugs and criminals and rapists. <laughs> and they watch everything. They yeah. do. They do nothing to help yeah, people. Yeah, they, they observe. Yeah. They yeah. suck. Yeah, they wear funny clothes. Yeah, yeah. light blue, blue, blue shootable you know, hats. But, yes. I mean, you, <laughs> I love those blue hats. The, the guy, the, the president of Mexico, you know, oh basically God, comes to the what United States. They have, they have tougher immigration laws than the United States. You can go to jail for ten years if you're caught re-entering Mexico on an illegal like visa. You could go to jail for up to ten years. Wow. They also will they could deny you entry if you are physically or mentally ill. I mean, this is a hard. You want to talk about discrimination and racial profiling? Look at Mexicans in Mexico's immigration. Yeah. See and, that? And I'm pretending like I care. That yeah, was look, just that, doing what you hey, said. And that was sober. That was that was sober talk. That, was that wasn't even drunk talk. stuff. Yeah, you know yeah. what you're talking you read, about. <laughs> you read that somewhere. I did. That's the other thing about being an expert. It's that all an expert is is like reading something about ten minutes before you go on and saying exactly a lot. Just say exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Precisely. Yes, yes, yes indeed. This you is exactly what I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> when it's not exactly what you've been saying. Yes, exactly. I think we got the Mexican president <laughs> oh, saying he's against the Arizona immigration bill. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't play. he be? Yeah. I'm convinced yeah, exactly. it's, it, it, that a comprehensive oh. immigration reform is also crucial to securing our common border. However, However? I strongly disagree with the recently adopted law, law. in Arizona. It's a law. It is a law. Uh, what, uh, law. Why don't we fix the shit house he calls the country yeah. and then nobody will yeah. want to leave it? Uh, you notice he said the law is divisive, the, but it's supposed borders are supposed to be divisive. That's, That's why they're called borders. Definition <laughs> is a dividing <laughs> line. Exactly. That not only ignores a reality that cannot be erased by decree, what? But also introduce a terrible idea using racial, racial profiling as a basis for law enforcement. He should have just law done that in Spanish. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he wrote he, he, Well, I don't think he wrote it. I yeah. think it was written for him. Yes. Because uh, I don't think he, you know, it, I mean, obviously it's a second language, but it sounded like he'd never heard of the phrase racial profiling before racial, until that speech. Russia, Russia, yeah. racial. But I mean, it's it's idiotic. This guy, we have one-way immigration from Mexico to here, in which all the money so ends crazy. up going back to Mexico. They work here, and they get. Yes. That's why he doesn't want to change it. Why would he? Of course. Yeah. There was a great article exactly. I read um, in the Phoenix Suns owner. <laughs> the Phoenix Suns owner was, of course, you know, it's the 
good stance to take. I'm against this, everybody, you know. Yeah. So he says, I'm against this. is ridiculous. I might win some games. He's making a big stink. And someone said, all these fans are calling a sports talk station in Phoenix. Go, okay, so what happens if someone um, sneaks in their game? Yeah. Are they allowed? Uh, but they can't, they can't do anything. He's did go sit in a seat, not allowed to touch him. Yeah. What if what if, they, what if his girlfriend has a baby there? That's an extra seat they have to give up. Oh. Not allowed. No, yeah. you can't can't profile him. He's that's allowed great. in. Right? It's a free game, mm -hmm. baby. No, nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> right? Are they allowed to security? No, you can't let him no, go. It's like security. He's allowed to sit there. You can't go after him. You yeah, should be able to go point. to. A, you should be able to go to a secure concert without paying. Because she's saying that the immigration law is wrong and everything and it, the, oh, the whole thing. Well, then, then by then we should be able to yeah. show up at our concert without paying, go through a back door, and sit and enjoy it. But there are rules. Well, yeah. you don't pay attention to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. And yeah. if you if you ask somebody, hey, can I see your ticket? You're a racist. Do you make yeah. any judgment? Uh, no, you're not allowed to. What do you? Basing that on, leave me alone. You're profiling me. <laughs> and the guy who snu snuck in trips down the stairs, gets hurt. He has to pay for his health insurance too. Of course. <laughs> Can we get another Florentine? Story? <laughs> yes, sir. Jimmy, you got a Florentine story? I don't know. Where's Levy when we need him? He's probably passed out somewhere. <laughs> Find out. What, look at his me. calendar. Find out what gig he has, and you'll know he's face down within three miles of that building. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking bottle uh, next to him. Nothing better Bob. than a good Florentine story. I've heard. A million of them over there. They're years. always funny and they're always true. Yeah. Just... He likes to uh, drink a little bit there. No, really? he likes to drink a lot. A lot of it? Yeah. yeah. A lot William of it. Holden liked to drink a little bit. He would drink a day of old drunks. Yeah. Like the old that that was old school drinking. I was watching oh, the yeah. commercials for those uh, celebrity roasts, and you see Dean Martin. They all have uh, cocktails. Oh man, they're all Hardcore wasted. Cocktails too. What a great time to be. They oh, was it Johnny Carson, Carson right? Show yeah. with Johnny Carson yeah. and, and like Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin just come in because they fucking yeah. they just crash the joint. They got drinks in their hands and cigarettes. Yeah, and they're just bad mouthing each other. Yeah, it's amazing. Johnny's laughing and then they're like, "Well, we gotta go. Yeah, it's, like, well, <laughs> it's time to go. Let's take it out. We're gonna be at the Mirage next week." And you know, what replaced, plugs and they're out of there. you know what replaced what replaced William Holden is Lindsay Lohan. Our drunks are young yes. girls. Like we don't have any of the classic like, drunks. Yeah, men. Men. Now they're young girls. Yes, we do. <laughs> Nick Nolte, Mel Gibson, but when our our guys now drink, they really speak their mind. Yeah. It becomes a problem. The like, goddamn Jews. All right, just go to Lindsay the Lohan. Then they just yeah. cave their head in on a table. <laughs> well, if you had, yeah, if you had cell phones, just keep it fun anymore. Picture those phones guys. back yeah. in the sixties yes. and the seventies. Could you imagine, imagine the pictures we would have? Yes. Angie Dickinson. Yeah. That's, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's Marilyn Monroe oh. giving a golden shower. Right. She's peeing in fucking Joe DiMaggio's coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, though, you got to start the death watch on yeah. her now. Yeah, she's Because now she's not allowed to drink or do her fucking drugs. She's going to... Did you see that interview with her? Nip slip. That's she's going to want to spin out. <laughs> she look, the interview with her, it, it is, she looks like she's terrified of her... Uh, uh, of the. She's just like... Uh, they just did... It was on like Hollywood.com, some website. She looked absolutely petrified. Like mm -hmm. somebody was... Really? Yeah, she's just right wonderful. Beautiful tits, though. Well, she's a beautiful girl. They're nice Remember? and heavy. Yeah. yeah. But without the sad, Wait. right? Yeah, but Britney They're Spears weighty. was at that point where you thought she was going to go, too. She's yeah. actually turned her life around. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. doing well, right? Yeah, but yeah, Lindsay's at that point. Yeah, because she's not. She's like, I don't need rehab. Now she's got the ankle bracelet on. So she's any kind of booze. For a while, yeah. And she's not going to go into rehab. She's done within by the weekend. She's going to be busted. Wait, why did they give her an ankle brace? Did she get a DWI or something? That she's was... gotten two DWIs and didn't uh, and do then, the, all didn't the alcohol classes. How is, she, how is she not going to jail? Because she's, she's Lindsay famous. Lohan. She's famous. How the fuck are you not going to jail for a little while? Yeah. Kiefer Sutherland had to go. Yeah. How much time did he do? Like 90 days? Well, I that's because so. the Christmas Kiefer tree. again is another one that he can fucking drink and fuck shit He's up. He's old oh, school. Yeah. Now, that's an yeah, old that's school old celebrity school. Yeah. celebrity. You drinker. saw the video of him tackling the Christmas tree, right? Yeah, that was fantastic. And then the one time where he was sitting at a rest at a, at a bar with his pants, pants on. Yeah. Pants in a diner or something, yeah. And then what, what's that story with the, um, the, the action figure that they were making? And it was a oh, prototype. A, yeah, he had... The, the prototype for his action figure, the only one in the world. Yeah. And the guy who made it was like, yeah, you know, take it out. You know, <laughs> tell me what you think about it and bring it back to me tomorrow morning. He goes out drinking and he sets it on fire. <laughs> and it, ca it, it cost the guy a year of his life. Because that's how long it took to make it. Fantastic. <laughs> I would, I got, you know, he's one of those guys you know if you ran into. That you'd end up drinking with him you all could night. Drink with Especially him, if you're yeah. in a foreign country where he doesn't care, you'll end up. You, mm -hmm. you, you'll be trying to get rid of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get, no, I'm a, fuck, I can't get rid of him. Yeah, yeah, he's like, he wants to go fishing. Yeah, it's like yeah, seven yeah. in the morning. I <laughs> can rent a boat, man. I know people. I can fucking buy a boat. Yeah. <laughs> One of those drunks. <laughs>
Oh, he's awesome. Yeah, yeah he really is. We met him at the Comedy Central party one time. He was yeah. actually he was a cool guy. I met him a couple times since at uh, bars, and he's been he's out of his mind. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. Right, but he's a life at a party, man. He's buying everybody yeah. drinks, yeah. talking right. to everybody, and That's yeah, he's crazy. not a dick. No, he's definitely almost not. married Julia Roberts. Something happened the night before. Remember, a cock probably showed up. And they, <laughs> they both went. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> there was there was a, another thing with old school actors, and I think a comic had said it at some point that uh, the. Out of shape, in shape. Yeah. Like, they all had... Charlton Heston would take his shirt so off, suck and you'd be in. like, oh, he's so obviously <laughs> sucking it in, and just has, like, man tits, yeah, and, exactly. and a big barrel. But he was shit. a man. William Holden, William Holden was like that. Yeah. Mar- they all, like, had... There their was just one big block of big flesh. There were no abs. There was no such thing no, as an no, ab. Nothing. All and now, Scott, you gotta be V-cut yeah. fucking abs, and... and, and, and Pecs and everything. These guys that would take their shirt off, like, and women back then thought they were dreamy. Yeah. You know, oh, it was like the 19- did you see the one where like the nineteen fifties postcards where the guy would be holding a medicine ball <laughs> and be wearing those shirts. <laughs> that's that's what a guy was, you know. The, it was yes. just you know, hey, and he was gay. That guy was gay. <laughs> you think? Oh yeah. Oh, right. If you were working out in the fifties, <laughs> you were working out in the fifties, you were gay. Yeah, but yeah. Jack, Jack, Jack Lalanne was, was right. gay. Yeah. I think Jack cool. Lalanne was it, and he yeah. just had that barrel kind yeah. of body going for when himself. Did it, it's, when did it change? I mean, I I started working at Men's Health in ninety four. That's when er, the, the ab thing started happening. But it started happening earlier I than think, that. I think Arnold really kind of yeah. put that whole thing in motion, where people looked at him and went, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah. Like, but now that's gone. Stars look big silly. muscles are gone. The eighties actions you had to be big. Yeah, big. now it's not big at all. You have to be lean, defined, yeah, defined. but lean. Yeah, yeah, like fucking vampire movie guys. Yeah, exactly. Like fucking Twilight guys. I'm troubled by that. Bastards. Rickles was saying that uh, you know back in the day they used to just stay up till seven in the morning, get hammered, and then wake up at like five in the afternoon and go to the steam room for two hours, sweat the all the booze room. out, and just go do a <laughs> show. The booze. Yeah, he said that's what they did every all, every day. They would sweat the booze out. Does that work? Yeah, apparently it does. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Everybody Rickles. talks about that. Yeah. I've never done it. How, how no. great? How great? It gets is the Rickles. toxins out of your body. Because I, I actually we have a, I have a steam room. I like used to like to go all the time. How long is it good? To that's sit not in? a steam room, Jim. You go and you take a crap. That's not a steam room. <laughs> <laughs> There's a toilet. No, I, no, in my building, some guy that looked like fucking our agent Bob Eatman was trying to look at my cock. It really freaked me out. It was so ghoulish. But the, how long do you sit in the steam room and not too the long, man? man. Now you, you got to be like careful. 40, 30, 45 minutes. It's like working could. out. Wow. It's, it's like working out without working out. You just sit there and you right. sweat. It's like imagine yeah, being you, on a stair climber. the five minutes, a maybe. Climber. Yeah. But it's, everybody talks about it. It's but mainly like drunks. 35 minutes, no yeah. fucking way. I heard the other thing with uh, like no pilots way. with the oxygen. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if that works. You could just sit there and inhale <laughs> pure oxygen for a while to get the alcohol out of your system somehow. I don't know. They would sweat the booze out? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. When Thinking I was... to go back to drinking just so you could do that? No, but I Give think it it's so cool that they would go to bed at 7, wake up at 5. They were hard. Now the they lived in Vegas, like in the so there was gym. no point in being up in the daytime because it was too hot. So you just sleep through the worst yeah. part of the day, then start drinking again. It's kind of like the perfect life when you think about it. Sinatra at the craps table. Yeah. Oh, how, that must have been wonderful to see. Passing the day with Mansfield around like an hors d'oeuvre yeah. tray. Three, yeah. four in the morning you with take hookers. Head, I'll take the rest yeah. of them. <laughs> you, know you know they were throwing racial slurs at Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, hammered yeah. at four in the morning. Oh, yeah. they're, they're, you know that that was going it's on. It's not even speculated. That's like known. That's a known really? thing that he, he took a lot of shit from those people. And uh, he, he wrote a little bit about it in his book before he died. That uh, they did give him a lot of shit. It was constant about who's, how who's the luckiest the person. Guy. The luckiest person in the Rat Pack is either Peter Lawford Peter or Joey Lawford. Bishop. Like, why were they there? Like, why was Peter <laughs> Lawford there? Because he had the link to the Kennedys, right? He was uh, like related. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah and he Sinatra had a liked that. He had a good connection for yeah, drugs yeah. and but fucking he was, whores, probably. Joey Least Bishop talented. was like, fuck is he? He was like a poor man's Don Rickles. Yeah, Joey Bishop. He would co-host. Uh, what was it, The Tonight Show every so often? Yeah, probably. Joey Bishop, I'd turn it on and be like, oh, it's Joey it's Bishop. Joey Bishop. <laughs> Bishop. Where's, Where's, that? Where's Johnny? Johnny? Dean Martin? The mighty Carson Art players, goddammit. Who else was in that? Dean Martin, Sinatra, Sammy. Yeah. Sinatra wouldn't stay in hotels that wouldn't let Sammy stay. They're like, you want me to stay? He's got to stay. Mm-hmm. So he took care of Sammy, too. We want to goof on the coon all night. <laughs> so 
like, oh, I could like for the whole, for totally for the wrong reason. Like he's trying to be upstanding. I will not stay here unless Sammy can stay. Good. All right, bring the jig in. Oh, you know that Frank, I thought it was a noble idea. Now, now this argument is coming up again. Kevin from Connecticut draining the pool after Sammy swam. That wasn't. It's not true. Is that is that a uh, rumor? No, it was. It did happen with somebody though. I I, I think it was a uh, female black entertainer. Hmm. That oh, they actually uh, drain a baker the... or something like that. Need a baker? I have no idea. No, this yeah. goes way back. Does anyone Mom's know? Mom's Mabel. <laughs> it's... All right, well, Beyonce. But it's, but it's not Sammy Davis. Jr. James, they're draining the pool. Somebody jumped in the fucking <laughs> pool and they drained it is after she a... got out. That, yeah, is that like uh, that's an urban legend, right? I it's can't. Got... Oh, yes. I don't know, man. We, we draining a it pool. It comes up on our show from it's time not to so time. Bad. Hmm. Turns out it's just. I can see somebody part. doing that at the Holiday Inn in fucking St. Louis in, in the fifties. You, know yes. you know what I mean? Some guy you know at the front yeah. desk going, "You know what? Get let's drain this." We're thinking in a, a New York liberal fucking yeah. now kind of attitude. Think about yeah. it back then. Mm -hmm. You drain that goddamn pool. <laughs> I ain't swimming in there. I ain't even my goddamn kids swimming there. You do that there. so easily. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, certainly really do. Yeah. Yes, he does, Greg. Yes, he does. <laughs> Believe me, and I want to drop the end bomb real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just to bring the impression home, right? Yeah, yeah. you know, you got to have a little legitimacy. You got to go all in. <laughs> and of course, should never be filmed, Greg Gutfeld. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. I have. Uh, I, I just don't understand people who need to make their own sex tapes because you're not. You're not attractive. Like there are only a few people in the world that are good looking enough to watch have sex. I think. I think Jim probably disagrees with me. I agree. Um, I film. I literally. I film myself fucking. And my girlfriend and I watch it together. <laughs> And it almost ended the relationship. Yeah. I said, it looks yeah. like you're fucking a salmon. Yeah. <laughs> I was so awful without a shirt on. She looked good. Yeah. My fucking tits really? and my fucking belly it's, fat. I had to turn it off. It it's horrible. hideous. And I, I, I just don't understand why you would need to look at that I, 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 and remind yourself that you're you, humans by, are just ugly creatures. They really are. Uh, the, the only the good thing part. in the room is the woman. Yeah, but when you yep, put it, it's just, yep. yeah. When you put it together, the sex act. There is something, though, because if you tape it, it means you're going to watch it after the fact. Yes. And when you're done, you're done, and now you're just going to criticize everything and be yeah. uh, going like, ugh. But if you don't put a tape in, in mm -hmm. the old school VHS ones, you don't put a tape in, you just hook it up to the TV and have now you have like a, a mirror that you can move. You know, that's the camera. Okay. Now you can fuck and get all turned on by it, but it's not taping or recording. That's fine. You know? And never I've never, but heard never of that. the back of the ball shot. Yeah. Don't try that one. You're gonna see things you the probably bomb. don't want to see. Yeah. Why? The bomb the shot. shot. Back of balls. I like tape myself jerk off. Wow. What? Really? Uh, yeah. Why? To yeah. show whoever walks in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I leave it playing on a loop. <laughs> hey, we gotta go. Let's go back Since to the census taker. Come here, look at this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Census taker. <laughs> Let's go back to the pool story because nose meat, new name thanks to Jim oh, Florentine. Nose meat. Nose meat checking in from Woodside. They drained it after Shatner's wife went swimming. That was the <laughs> no. Oh, see. They had to. It was a crime scene of some Let's sort. Let's say hi right? to Sammy and Queen. Sammy. 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 What's All up? Right. Yeah, I was thinking it was Josephine Baker or Dorothy Dandridge because Halle Berry played her in the movie. And they showed that scene, the HBO movie or something. Ah. And so, they drained the whole pool. So, wow, we was going to drain that pool anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so they did show it in the movies. I, I yeah, told yeah, you. Yeah, they did. It was, it was an HBO film, and, and Halle Berry played the actress. Oh, I wish she would have went out for a swim the next day and just got on the diving board and jumped in. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> him? Oh, no water. No, her. What, was, her. what was Colin Quinn? <laughs> You're an awful person. <laughs> you know how much chlorine costs? You're just figuring that out, guys? Yes, I just did. <laughs> what what was, he, he really is an awful what person. Was Terrible. What was you are a terrible man. I leave man. you feeling bad, too. <laughs> <laughs> what was Colin Quinn's tweet about uh, Monster Ball? Oh, he could have done without the nude scene with Halle like Berry. Barry. Let's keep it PG, guys. Yeah. <laughs> keep it PG, guys. <laughs> exactly. His Colin, tweets Colin, are Colin, Colin's tweets yeah, are great. Yeah, I right. am Colin I Quinn. Saw, I am Colin funny. Quinn is a, yeah. is a good one to follow. I know he was Way saying something about Ant Anthony's brother on there. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. Him he's, up or something. He's, he's obsessed, obsessed with that. that. Oh, because he beat up his cousin. Beat right? up his cousin. My they, brother. They've been talking about that for twelve years. Happened? Colin's cousin back when they were like kids. <laughs> when they were back like two the gangs days. or something. And he still wants an apology. He wants yeah. an apology. Joe he's ain't obsessed. It. <laughs> he's obsessed. It. it was Colin's cousin beating up Joe. Uh, or no, Joe, no, beat Joe beat up Colin's, Colin's cousin. cousin. Right? Okay. Yeah. When did that end up? When did that stop? Like beating up people. Beating when did that? Did you, did you like? When did it all of a sudden look? You, you, suddenly, it's silly to like get in fights, but that's still you still see that happening, and it's weird when you see like adult men fighting. 
it's strange. Yeah, it's, but it's like a certain age when all of a sudden you go, "Why am I doing this?" Or what? I should not be doing this. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. I'm a little too old. For I this. think when the other kid gets bigger and you're like, yeah. oh, he might be able to kick my ass now." <laughs> yeah, I had talked about this uh, a couple of weeks ago that. I I've never been a fighter, and there are, I know there are others out there like me. Yeah. But, but growing up, you had to at some yeah. point. You were getting in a situation where like, oh fuck, I gotta I gotta fight. Yeah, I didn't start this. I didn't. Yeah, and I would always be the guy that there's a way to fight. Good fighters know how to fucking end a fight mm -hmm. like that. You look. You know the fight's starting. You're the guy that punches the other guy mm -hmm. in the face first. Yeah. Fight ninety percent of the time is over. Yeah. I would be the guy going. Well, you know, let's <laughs> diplomatically talk. Bam! Blindside fucking gun. I would always try to reason with him. Reason with a drunk who just wants to hit me. Yeah. And it never worked. Yeah. I would just get beat up every time. I don't think I've ever kicked anyone's ass. I haven't been in a lot of fights. I think I got beat up three times mm -hmm. in my whole life. But each of those times, I didn't even try. <laughs> I was just like, I am fucking free meat. Pound me. Let's just get this over with. Yeah. I think. I think the uh, with the increase in, of lawyers. I don't think it, like you can't get in as many fights as you used to because it's yeah. always going to end up being. Yeah. You're going to get sued. Yeah, litigation. Yeah, they'll get in there. My have you been beat up in school? <laughs> Do you have mesothelioma <laughs> because you got punched in an asbestos-filled room? <laughs> <laughs> me and Jim have a friend, Kevin, that's gotten in over 300 fist fights. He said. How does Kevin wow. really? Kevin yeah. Hill. My friend Kevin, he's a uh, he's a, uh, like a filmmaker, oh, musician. Okay, okay. But um, he he was saying that um, he was An telling animal. a story. It was like six guys against these uh, against three, and they were coming at him. And he and the guy's like, "What are we gonna do?" He goes, "Just keep swinging and don't stop. <laughs> That's like Just Indiana keep swinging Jones and don't shit. stop." That's, That's what he great. told them. And they eventually they said they won because he just said, "Don't stop swinging." <laughs> He is a he, he is an animal. Isn't he? he is. I like the fact that he's counted his fights. Yeah. 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 About three hundred. About three hundred fist, fist fights. Swing it. That going into something like that is just like petrifying. Yeah. Though he doesn't I, back off. I doesn't don't no. take a punch well. No. Who I'll does? Go, I'll go right. Uh, some people Getting can you hit can hit them, but I'll go like right the fuck. Boom! I'm on the floor. Like going cool, cool, cool. I can't. I cannot yeah. fucking get hit in the face. Well, that's good. Yeah. You don't remember the punch. Terrible. Though. You can't get. Oh, you can. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this, this this some fucking, people, boom. Their head goes back, and then they just look at you with a little trickle of blood coming down. You know, you're totally fucked. Not to change subjects, but they have it on uh, CNN Live. It's still fucking leaking. What the fuck? But you know, Bill Schultz had an idea. Why not use gum? Like, why can't you just stuck, stick a big thing of gum in there? It looks like it, <laughs> they're talking about like they're talking about putting like uh, uh, mud and cement in it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's still just leaking. It looks like a it's small hole, right? It's like a show. How many gallons a day? A webcast. How many gallons a day? Like three, four gallons a day. There you go. Perhaps. <laughs> right. And who was the asshole that had to have the camera down there to really rub it into everybody? Yeah. Well, if you get the camera down there, why can't you get the gum down get there? Something down <laughs> yeah, there, there plug it up. It's probably the guys from Exxon, you know, you know don't use BP anymore. <laughs> right. Look what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's an Exxon camera right <laughs> yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah. It's like that for the Valdez. <laughs> oh, Chip. Oh, Chip. <laughs> oh, Chip. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gum, huh? <laughs> yeah. Gum. Gum. I'm thinking gum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? look at that. Chris says uh, O2 absolutely gets rid of hangovers. See, that. that. What the does? Pilot, oh. pilots using oxygen. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. How do you know this? How do you know? How do you know? Well, I used to, I went to a commercial diving class out of Seattle years ago, and they'd have oxygen, just bottles of O2 for emergencies for our med kits. And they actually had to stop checking out the oxygen bottle to us because what everybody would do was just go and just get shit faced the night before and show up for class and just suck off all the O2. And mm. so you'd feel great for the day. I wish there was like a, com a complete total cure for a hangover. But then you'd be dead. Hangovers are for, there for a reason. Yeah. If you didn't have hangovers, you would never stop drinking. You know, you have to have. Well, you have to have a consequence. Time. Yeah, yeah. There's got to be a consequence. <laughs> there a has to be. Con Imagine if there was no effects to drug use. Like if you could, you would do blow. Uh, uh, the, and your, your heart life. wouldn't explode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you didn't have, yeah, like who would? Yeah. You're right. You're no, right. You never your heart, stop. Your heart would explode. Is yeah. the point he's making? You yeah, need but, the yeah, yeah. Like, like if your Look heart at him didn't simplifying explode, that shit. <laughs> but I like, watch, like, do you watch Intervention? Oh, yeah, oh, it's yeah. my favorite show oh, on they TV. Had, they had the girl. I watched one last night. She did what fifty Percocets a day. 
If I do a half a Percocet, I'm on. I'm in heaven. It's like the greatest feeling in the world. How can you do 50 you do Percocets? 50 That's Percocets. when you don't have consequences. Somehow you you build up a tolerance to it, or I don't know what it is, but yeah. That, that's amazing. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, uh, the he, hangover. Says, he says lying to himself. I've been uh, up to 25. I've been, I've been, <laughs> no, I, I'm just, you know, I, I like I like drinking some wine, some beers, things like that. I don't even really get into hard liquor. Sometimes uh, Captain and Cokes, I yeah. like those. But the hangover to me is such an inconvenience mm -hmm. because it's, uh, they're, they're devastating to me. Yeah. I, 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 can, I can throw up. At three the next afternoon, yeah, I'll be like, really? <laughs> "Why wow. am I puking now?" <laughs> and still like have a pounding headache and go, "What the fuck? This sucks." Yeah. And then if you ever have to resort to the medicinal beer, mm -hmm. you pop it open and you're looking at it like, "I ah, God, I feel like <laughs> shit." I did. And then once you finish that beer, you're like. Did I really ever feel Is bad, bad today? Yeah. Does I don't it really think help I really hangover? felt bad. I never yeah. did the whole beer the next day one thing. Whole beer the next day uh, absolutely works. You will get right back on and start going like, and you can't even remember feeling bad. You're like, I don't think I was that hungover. But can you, do you have to keep drinking or do that one beer? Oh, you, yeah, you so should you gotta... probably just take up where you left off. Yeah, Not I, a good I'm thing proud. on a Sunday to Monday thing. Okay. It's good from a Friday, Saturday. Right, kind of a thing, because then you I mean, just you know Saturday. We, we have going. to we have to get Stryker in here. Stryker, <laughs> listen to how he handled hangovers. Go ahead, Stryker. Hey, morning, boys. Yeah, hey, uh, when I used to years ago, I was an EMT, and one of the uh, uh, one of the other EMTs came in one morning for a shift, and he was a little wasted, and he's like, "Man, I got a serious hangover." And one of the paramedics said, "Come here," and hooked him up to an IV for about a half hour. <laughs> Jeez, an IV. Did it work? <laughs> Yeah, it's watched the system, and I have a I have a good friend who's a paramedic, and his wife is a serious drunk, <laughs> and she'll and she'll go out and get hammered, and when he gets home, that when they get home, he'll just hook her up to an IV for a little bit, and you know when they get back home, he's he's a paramedic and a tra paramedic trainer, so he carries this stuff with him all the time, even at home, and he just hook her up, he hooked her up to it, and the next day I saw her, and I'm like, what is just like a man, saline so drip or something? Yeah, just hook her up to a saline drip for a little while. <laughs> what if you're the husband? Wouldn't you think maybe instead of hooking her up, you'd get her help? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Taking there, watching it with an yeah. IV, yeah. 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 IV bag. Oh, uh, she's great. She's the greatest. Boy, could she drink? Yeah, she's on an IV. Well, yeah, yeah, look at her in there right now. <laughs> How about taking her to a fucking a rehab, you codependent <laughs> slob? <laughs> Yeah, Send her a text. Fucking, your IV drip. Wait, he loses the story. <laughs> he needs to have the story. <laughs> She's on go. an IV. She's a fucking drunk. So, <laughs> and suppose the oxygen bars are popping up all over Vegas. Well, yeah, that's what it is. I seen them in the. You know, you come, you going through the casinos. Guys sitting there getting oxygen. We used to just make fun of them. Like you're in Vegas. Why are you freaking oxygen? Yeah. Go drink and gamble. Get a hooker. But if you're, <laughs> you're tired, a shot of you know yeah. some oxygen will keep you going for a while. Coconut longer. water is great for um, hangovers too. It completely really? hydrates you. Yeah. I got it stocked in my refrigerator. Coconut, coconut water? water? Yeah. I've never, never heard of it. People keep I think drinking it's that. Diuretic. I see that more and more. Coconut water. Isn't it a diet? It's an amazing, it's an amazing um, do you hydration. A, do you do it like Gilligan's Island, drink it out of a hollowed out <laughs> coconut? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's not good to try to crack open a coconut at 3 in the morning when you're hammered. <laughs> you know, with a fucking chisel and a hammer. Yeah, because you know you've taken the wrong tools <laughs> out. Oh, yeah, a big yeah. butcher's knife and a fucking book. <laughs> then you wake up and you realize it was a human being. Fucking hooker. He's got a brain spill. Out on the floor. <laughs> you really got to cut her into pieces. It was your neighbor who just wandered in, was concerned about you, and all you saw was a coconut. <laughs> so wait, being led away, crying. I thought it was a coconut. I thought it was thirsty. I thought it was a coconut. What do you get? Coconut water? I never heard of it. It's you everywhere. get it at the drugstore. Yeah, it's everywhere. Supermarket. Is it sugar yeah. or no? That it's fine. It's just uh, yeah, check it out. It's good. I don't like it. But does it? But it's in my fridge. It too. hydrates you like you wouldn't believe. I mean, just little sixteen ounce, twelve ounce thing. Does it make you mm. piss a lot? Drink it. No. Oh. But mm. drink it before you go to bed. One in the morning. Perfect. You could drink water before you go to bed. Well, if, uh, something like that, you gotta. If you're drinking, I, I gotta, too, uh, yeah, a lot of water is really good. Yeah, but, but, you know, but, but I gotta cut off the water three water. hours before I go to bed. At this point, water it <laughs> takes away from the drinking you time. Yeah. It's either that or you gotta really nat. You gotta be pissing, you know, your beers out all night anyway. Yeah. Yeah, water takes up the time that you can be drinking. So, like, <laughs> it would be good. I've seen people drink the beer and then down some water. Yeah. Drink, down some water, and, and they it seem to feel good the next day. 
But I'd look at the water and go, that could just be another beer. Mm. Why would I Why would I drink water? Wow. <laughs> well, while you're waiting for it. Jimmy's just, just looking wow. at me going, wow. When you look at water as an inconvenience, <laughs> no. I'm trying to brush my teeth. I want to get drunk. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's an inconvenience. It's water. You know, the thing you need most in life, aside from air. Yeah. That's... <laughs> I've never heard that water. Like, how long does it take you to drink water? Where you're like, you know what? That's 11 seconds, I could have been pumping more alcohol into my system. Yeah, it's, you know. How about you do it when, you get, when you're ordering another beer, that time in between, when the yeah. bartender's getting it and making could change? Could do that. Well, get they're down to water. Pouring a nice Guinness takes a little while. It will take sometimes. them time to get the water, and that's time they could have been getting the beer. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I usually overlap. You know, this one's getting a little low. Let me get another. <laughs> you know, you got to keep that overlapping field of fire. I understand that. Beers. That's a sad thing, but it's true. I, <laughs> yeah. My wife gives me crap for that. But I, when I see it go down, like I'm like, that much left in the in the glass, I'm already ordering another like, one. Top it off. It's it's like a real. It's like a relay with your liver. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hand off. There it goes. Another great handoff. Yes, wow. Yes. <laughs> like there's a, a huge catastrophe if you are without a drink. It's without like a, if the yeah. glass is empty. Well, especially when you first get to the bar, you got to go right yeah. to the bar. Don't yeah. pick a table out, and you, especially no. if you got chicks with you because they need a drink in yeah. them. And then, you know, the so you got to go go right there, yep. get the drinks first, then we'll figure out everything but you, later. But you know what bugs me are the are people who don't understand that. Like when you're going somewhere and they start, they don't walk to the bar. They start talking, or somebody's talking to you get while you're to trying the to order. Bar. Yeah. yeah, it's like, dude, don't you understand? This is important. I've got to get there. And then my people get mad at you because you're angling to get up to the bar. Like yeah. you, to you, this is like an accomplishment. You got to get up there. But the people that you're with don't see it as a big deal because you're the one getting the drink. Yeah, I'll get the. I'm getting. I'm getting the drink. I'm yeah. going up to the bar, <laughs> yeah. and then the bartender's busy. So I, I I've been known to stand on my tiptoes. <laughs> yeah. With my money in my two fingers, <laughs> yeah. like over the bar, like notice yeah. me, motherfucker. Yeah, that, I can't wait. I've been here a minute and a half. That, <laughs> I, that is like the st most stressful moment of my like it's life. Yeah. it's trying to order. A trying drink. to make eye contact yeah. with the bartender, and especially You're like staring at. Him. And especially if a hot chick comes in, he's going to her first. He's going to her. Yeah. You're the fucking ugly guy. He doesn't You're care. Fucked. Yeah, fucked. Then but they, yeah, they always go to the table first, so you get the chicks. Oh, they're, 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 and they're sitting there like a waitress is going to come by, and they're fucking miserable because they don't yeah. have a drink. I'm going to go to a bar. Well, let's get a table. They're not coming there. I'll get a it's drink. The only it's the only system. You know what I mean? Fucking, you've been in bars for 20 years, and no one's coming over. <laughs> so you walk in to sit down. What, what's your drink order? It's fucking three deep at the bar. I'm getting in there. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, let's it. get the order. We'll get because everybody's happy when they get their drinks. Yeah. But every 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 yes. like every kind of exchange money has a specific like you wait in line the most important thing getting alcohol does not have that like you go to the bank you there's a line there's a system but at bars it's just <laughs> somebody can walk in front of you it's, somebody it, yes, they can, it's yes. just, there's no rule and it's not fair for that is absolutely true yeah. you 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 there's no line it's just <laughs> You know, it's the jungle. It's, it's the it's jungle. just out there. It's the there's, watering hole. And if you're a zebra, yeah. you're fucked. Exactly. By the way, there's no greater sign of alcoholism than comparing, trying to get booze. You know, if people have to stand in line at the bank, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so true. Like, I would, I like the, I, waiting in line is not a problem. It's calming. The thing of not waiting in line and having to, that makes the that makes you stressful. That is stressful. Yeah. Waiting in yeah. line is not always a pleasure though, yeah. especially when uh every time But it's I fair. Get a, but it's fair, but I will be the next person to be helped and at, the, at a bank, let's say. Yeah. And the person in front of me is trying to change like drachma yeah. into fucking you know rubles. In a bar it's mojitos. Behind somebody who's uh, ordering mojitos, yeah. and you just wanna you wanna you punch wanna their lights out. Because they, they gotta crush they gotta crush things and Ice and crap. seven different oh, liquors. Yeah. Worst place ever is being online at the pickup at the pharmacy. Yes, because yes. the person in front of you will always have a problem. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry, your insurance company didn't uh, yeah. pay for the. Please to be calling the uh, what? They, they don't understand. Yes, and you're sitting there, and I like just going going up. Getting whatever you need and then just looking at people and go, yeah, see, yeah, yeah that's, that's how, how it's done. <laughs> yeah, I called ahead or I, I waited a day. But you know what bugs me? Do you? Ever, I go to a Dwayne Reed that's nearby here. They say what you're prescribed. What you're prescribed Ooh, out loud. What no. do you need? Which, uh, you can't Valtrex. do that. <laughs> we got the Valtrex up I, I, here. But they, they don't even care. Hey, 
AIDS cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not for me. But I, it, it, it they, makes me uncomfortable when I'm in there. Who's really got the limp that? dick? Yeah. Who's got the limp dick? It's like Especially a deal. It's like a deli order. Yeah, deli order. Yeah, ham and Swiss. Right. Who had the ham and Swiss? Yeah. Especially if you're getting Cialis and Valtrex. Like, don't you ever learn? <laughs> Selfish and, motherfucker. And, and no condoms. <laughs> yeah, there's condoms on it. You just, like, push them aside. Like, some asshole must have left these here. <laughs> They're not for me. I'm already poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Right, why don't we take another break? Oh, so, Greg Gutfeld, the Bible of unspeakable truth stores now. The book looks terrific. It really does. Thank I, you. you might continue. You might not. It's up to you. you got a busy day. Uh, I can stick around. Yeah. Right, then you're, you're not going anywhere. Good. Hang out. And Florentine has... Don't you have to... You're not doing Regis and Kathy Lee? Yeah, later. Or whatever. Well, or, what is it? Kelly? <laughs> I still say Kathy Lee. Too. Regis. Oh, Regis and Kelly oh, Ripper. I like Kelly. Yeah, yeah Kelly's... She's right. sexy. I like Kelly, but I just still say... People say I look like her husband, Mark Consuelos. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, you yeah. do. Oh, you you do after, the... after disfiguring accident. <laughs> 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 after chemo and a house fire. <laughs> Quarantine, what are we promoting? Help us out here. Two... Uh, Wilbur Theater this Saturday night in Boston. Uh, WilburTheater.com. And then Sunday night, Uncle Vinny's Point Pleasant. And, and, and the Twitter, because you'll have all those dates oh, yeah. on Twitter. Uh, what is it? Mr. Jim Florentine on Twitter. Yeah, I just started following you. Jim does a good job on Twitter as well. We'll continue. <laughs> All right, continuing with Jim Florentine and Greg Gutfeld. Having a great show today, man. Thanks, guys. I think uh, Norton's dropping a deuce, and then Anthony <laughs> went in there to, to fucking join him. Yeah. Anthony's taking a rare dump. <laughs> oh. Anthony sits at, at his chair all day. Every break, me and Jimmy run out of here to empty our bladders. Fucking Anthony drinks water and Gatorade all morning and never leaves his uh, chair. Well, you know, because he's a professional drinker, too, so... The, the professional drinker never get. He'll sit at the bar for four straight hours. Oh, he understands how to. You, you don't want to give up your spot. You don't want to give up the spot. Don't break the seal. Yeah. And yeah. let it all out later. He probably stretched out his bladder nice with all you the beer drinking or something. But he's I, taking a fucking dump right now. I interviewed doctors over this about like, is there any consequence to holding back pee? Like you know when you're like in a like when there's absolutely you're on a plane. There's absolutely no way you can mm. pee. Can you die from that? I like, would. can you like if like. What could happen? No right. one ever gives me a straight answer well, on that. Well, get Dr. Steve on the phone, and uh, we'll ask him. I, 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 would, look, I would assume it, 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 it does damage. It has but to. But what kind of damage is it? It's like I don't know what it is. It's like I've, 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 I never get a, a real answer to that. I'm wondering if, uh, if, if, like, could you die from holding back your pee? Do you have a rash on your body or anything? Because uh, Dr. Steve will help you I out with all your questions. Rash. Yeah? I always have a rash. Well, Dr. Steve's a good man. <laughs> you know Dr. Steve? No, of course. <laughs> oh, my God. He's he's our Elvis doctor, basically. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, not really. You need one of those. He, he's he's on the up and up. He's a he's a good man. Yeah, he's great. He uh, we should get him on the phone. Oh, all right, they're calling him up, so we'll find out. Oh, silence is nice every once in a while, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> uh, so you're doing the the uh, the book uh, release party tonight. Yeah, yeah, having a little reception, and uh, uh, but I got to do Hannity, so I, I won't be drinking. I'll be uh, uh, just kind of. Oh, so you have to go from your I'll... own party to Hannity? Yeah, it's what not... a buzzkill. Actually, I, I, but given the choice, I'd like. I mean, it's, gonna, it's, it's, it's a good thing. You're going to sneak a couple in. Though. Yeah, I think you I have, have to. It's your, it's your to. book release party. Yeah. But then you're going to be on with Hannity, and you got to you be on top of your game. That's too. why. Yeah, that's why I don't. Yeah, it's, I, I what, will instantly regret you, whether I had like two two or three glasses of wine. I what do you think asked. Hannity's thing is, man? He's too goody two shoes. There's something going on when those cameras go off. What do you think it is? I he seems he's abs the most normal person in, in that building. Though? Yeah, he's is normal. He? He's normal. Jimmy, what do you think? I have to agree because he's a workaholic. The guy. The guy has some type of an odd obsession, but he's working, you doing think radio. He has some weird fetish when those cameras no, are off. There's no time. He literally works. He does radio and he does TV. I think he dresses up like an adult baby. I'm thinking. <laughs> no, that's that's actually John Gibson. No, John Gibson. No, but uh, uh, I love John Gibson. Uh, but uh, no, I, 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 yeah, these guys work. I don't understand how they do it, but they, they do radio, they do TV, they do everything. I mean, okay. there's no chance for. He does uh, them every day too, yeah. which is I can do them occasionally both together. But he'll do both, like, two full shows a day. Yeah, he has kids, and he has the TV show and the radio show. That's, yeah. that's he just insane. loves, he just, he's, like, obsessed with work, and he's, like, one of those guys who just wants to just probably make as much as he can while he can. He's yeah. smart. Yeah, we're not going to get your question answered. Dr. Steve is not, uh, oh. the doctor's not in. What's the question? I probably know the answer to it. Uh, if can you, you, can but, you die from holding back urine, or can you have a, can you have a permanent 
health problem if you like you that you don't pee for like three like you have to pee really bad and you get that really bad pain is there any physical consequences to that I imagine after a while there is. <laughs> yes. That's the answer we're going to get. That's the best we're going to do. I imagine. The yeah. yes. You're going to be, you'd be a great doctor. I took a great, there's nothing worse than when you're shitting and you see fucking shoes in the stall next to you. It's like, why don't you just fucking go away? <laughs> <laughs> I want to be alone. It, you, it's a private, it is a privacy thing. Oh, I hate it. I'm a grunter. Like my girlfriend yeah. told me, she, I always hear you shitting. So I'm like, I, I make noise. I breathe loud. Do you loud. ever just do a courtesy flush? You can let that log drop. No. So Guy next to you doesn't hear it. Oh, no. no, why would no? you do that? I don't know. I'm always weird about that. So I just, or if he flushes, then I let it go. So there's some noise. Ew, no. no. Do you ever think about prison? Like how that's the one th reason why you could never go to jail. Like I could not sit there in a in a cell or lie in a bed with another guy taking a crap next to me. I couldn't either, but yeah. the ass-fucking would be a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> Modesty is trumped you know by ass-fucking. The funny thing is, that's that's not on my list. The list thing is the toilet thing. I yeah. put that before you that. Don't, you don't like the toilet, the fact the food is no good, and the clothes don't match. The yeah. ass-fucking you can live with. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't like. I, I, I always say, like, if I was going away for like five years, I would just start taking in the ass like six months before, just, <laughs> just to, to fucking to prep myself. Like, I don't give a shit. It's not going to hurt. I've heard, someone's already been there. Yeah. I Take fucking Patrice O'Neill's dick in my ass. I don't think he has a big dick. He's you don't very think average. so? No, he no. Said, yeah, he said it's not that great. All right. Well, Keith Robinson's. I've seen Keith's. He's big, right? Yeah. What? Uh, how is the duties, Ant? Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It actually Anthony took uh, longer than I thought it was going to. Yeah. There's all that cum Ant in the way. <laughs> Anthony hates being in the bathroom. 41. He flushes as, as the duties drop. He's like, you. Yeah. I yeah. never do. I actually <laughs> will shush people in the shh, and then they get quiet, then I start dropping. Yeah. I want everybody to hear it. Wait, do you guys still laugh if someone's in the stall and you're... <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're always, always going to be funny. It's amazing. At a funeral, Why it's still fuck? funny. Why is that so I don't know. funny? Always. But you just hear that, that echoey... <laughs> Yeah. In the stall. Yeah. Each, each part see, is a snowflake. It's, even <laughs> it's, like it's always, it's, they're never the same. They're all unique. <laughs> it's even funny when the corpse uh, gets one more out as he's yeah. laying there. I was at an event oh, recently, uh, and I was with some other guy in the bathroom who I kind of knew, and we heard some guy taking a horrible, loud shit, and I'm like, who right. was that? He's like, it was a guy in the band. So we had to look at the bathroom until the guy walked out. I was I had to see who was making that loud yeah, shit. I loved him. Shit. <laughs> it's great. I looked at him differently the entire night, too. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's like guy. you've never done that. Right, right. It's like something Wait. wrong with other people taking a crap. I know. It's like, it's like, it's like, well, it's like you judge them based on a bodily function you do every day. I've never yeah. not done that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my farts, my shit's never quiet. Yeah. It's always an event for everybody with an earshot. <laughs> we got a substitute doctor on the line to answer your question, Greg. Oh, uh, Mike in Manhattan. Mike. Hey, guys. How you doing? Are you a doctor? Uh, no. No, I do. Uh, what the fuck, you know that. Uh, I do pathology on the kidneys. All right, oh, that's good enough. So you can wind up with a permanent um, medical problem. Your kidneys can wind up failing. Ah. So it happens to truck drivers a lot, and you wind up on dialysis. Really? Yep. Wow. Oh, fucking get that. That makes sense out. with the truck drivers because they're always holding it in. I uh, thank you, sir. I got Doctor Steve on the line. He called back. Uh, Doctor Doctor Steve, how are you? Hello, boys. Hello, Dr. Steve. Uh, Jim Florentine in studio. Hey. How are you doing? Very cool. Hello, Jim. Can Go you ahead. tell us what his issue is? <laughs> 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 What's up, Dr. Steve? Oh, nothing. I'm on vacation. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, how's, how's that going? Good? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, you know... Vacation can be stressful just like anything else. Hey, Good when you're on vacation, do you, and somebody falls ill, like, like let's say in the hotel, do you like get kind of pissed off that you, you're you like around, like if somebody has a heart attack that you actually have to work? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I figured no, that. that happened before. <laughs> do you really? like when wait, somebody wait, wait, says wait, wait. that happened before? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, you know, uh, I was at a place in this whole uh, uh, bus full of old, elderly Gentlemen and gentle ladies uh, pulled up, and about three of them had forgotten to bring their heart medicine on this two-week oh. tour. And uh, uh, one of them had a heart attack, and the other one did a code blue. And I, there I was doing chest compressions on these folks, and it was uh, 
you know, it was like the whole time I was just thinking, you know, how stupid is it to just forget your heart medicine when you're going on vacation? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I, I, you were really thinking it. I'm on vacation. And you're just getting pissed. Yeah, it's like, yeah. why I do I have to tell this? them I'm a doctor? Wasn't there that famous story in, uh, was it Queens or something like that? The MS workers were eating lunch in a yeah. Burger King or McDonald's and someone had a seizure. And like, we're eating lunch. Or They're like, yeah. call 911. Yeah, we're eating lunch. Yeah. <laughs> they really said that? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm off the clock. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Did you have, like, a fruity drink in your hand as you're helping this lady out? <laughs> no, it was uh, it was in the Northeast. I guess I was leaf peeping or some asinine thing like People that. People only know you from a few uh, appearances, though, and they're um, wondering why a guy that shoves fingers up people's asses where it was helping people with heart problems. Oh. <laughs> like, th th did you just shove your fingers up their ass and check their <laughs> prostates? <laughs> Although that could get your heart going again, I think. Absolutely. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, I, I guess we got the answer, but we're, we were trying to figure out if, if you hold your urine in, if that's going to cause uh, problems. Well, yeah. You know, the extreme case of that is uh, people with swollen prostates where they can't void their bladder. And what will happen is, is the bladder will continue to grow in size uh, until there's a couple of liters in there, like a two-liter bottle. Uh, oh. And uh, uh, it, it can be so extreme that, um, I mean, the pain can be so excruciating that the patient can become unresponsive. Wow. And, uh, and what you have to do is you have to somehow get um, uh, a catheter into them, or uh, uh, what the urologist will do is take a thing called a trocar, which is basically just a long spike, and they'll jam it into it to, and stick a catheter in uh, directly through the abdominal wall just to get the thing to drain. Because if you don't, the kidneys will fail. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the back pressure, they just can't handle it, and you'll end up on dialysis. How long does it take to get that way? Uh, um, and Jimmy is again <laughs> asking for himself, what? Yes, yes. wait a minute. No, I piss so much, I'll never have that problem. <laughs> well, when uh, when we pull a catheter from somebody, we always say make sure that they void within eight hours. So it's something longer than eight hours it takes to get that way. Wait, when you pull it out? Yeah, when we pull a catheter out, because it can cause irritation of the prostate and the prostate can swell up, then uh, uh, we have to make sure that the patient can actually piss after you take the catheter out. How far does that it, thing go in? Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's pretty long, you know. Uh, I always like to think it only goes in like a half an inch or something. No. no. It goes all the way in. Whenever a doctor says, oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Is this, it's three feet. I used to hold my yeah, logs in when I was a kid. Is that... Doctor yeah, Steve, is that a bad idea? When I was a kid, I used to kneel by the side of the bed and hold my duty in. <laughs> Oh, I really for hours. I was that bad. That's where I would do my thinking. I really Why would, I would do my your duties. I would in? always do my thinking, like kneeling, and, and like literally, I would lift one leg and go like, <laughs> like you were praying. Yeah, on the side of the I bed. I would kneel for hours and not shit. Why? I don't know. There are a lot of kids will do that. See. Uh, it's yep. called encopresis, and what happens is is they'll get to the point where if they hold it in long enough, they lose the sensation of having to have shit. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. and, then, and then it just piles up. Constipation. You know, pound after pound after pound piles up until the body finally says, we got to let it go, and then they'll just shit themselves. <laughs> I, I still do it to this day. day yeah. <laughs> I hold a mix. I don't like to shit in front of my girlfriend in the bathroom. There's only one bathroom. You at the still place don't? Now. Yeah, so I gotta, like, I'm holding and holding. I just say, can you go get me the paper? You know, I send her out for the fucking paper. Or Wait, you don't shit while she's in the thing? I do, but I mean, it's, it, you know, in the beginning, just, it's tough. You're right or not, right? right? Yeah. Uh, Dude, my fucking chick shits with the bathroom door open. Really? Yes, I'll be like, I'm gonna go take a dump. I'll run the water so she can't hear, like, the <laughs> sounds. Wait, she she'll my... have the door open. <laughs> she, could care, she could care less. She's yeah. a fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk by the bathroom and she's in the bowl shitting. I'll talk to her. I don't give a fuck. Don't bother wow. me. And then, you eat, and then you eat her ass a half hour after that. I wouldn't say a half hour after. <laughs> Within oh, five it, minutes. Is there a way? <laughs> Why, <laughs> way? Swimming in a pool? You can't go an hour? Don't go in an no, hour but, before after There's got to be a shower. It's, it's not like, you know. Uh, Brother Joe wants in on this. Uh, stay there, Dr. Steve. Brother right. Joe. What's up, guys? Anthony, I can't believe you didn't have a... You didn't have a uh, although now I can't. I never have a catheter. Yuck. You didn't have any complications. You had no complications. When, when I went in for my stent. I had that internal bleeding issue, so they had to catheterize me, and they and that thing goes it goes all the way to your bladder. When they pulled it out, the nurse said on three. She pulled it on two. 
and I pissed blood for about a half hour after that. Ah. Did you pull it like yeah, starting a lawnmower? <laughs> it wasn't even fun. You know, no, it wasn't even fun. It was. Why uh, would it be? Yeah, and, but, 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 who's under the illusion it was, Joe? Exactly, <laughs> Joe. Yeah, who's it saying it's fun? Seal, it creates a seal around the the entrance to your penis. Fuck so that. I feel like if you, if you have it in for a while, it'll create a seal and it'll keep it from uh, when you when you go to get, uh, have the thing pulled out. It actually rips. Is, uh, is it like a tree growing around a sign on the side of the road? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. How and long does it take to make good. the seal, Joe? <laughs> uh, I hate this conversation. I hate this. The worst conversation ever. I you keep this. pushing it, Jim. The worst want, part about the whole thing is... Pee right now? Worst, I got not feeling well. The yeah. worst yeah. part. The absolute worst part, though, was when she pulled it out. I can't describe the pain. It was like it literally like a piss and razor blade. Well, how'd they knock you out? Do you know, I knew, it or something. Not give a fuck I knew out. a dominatrix, um, the Spanish girl I knew years ago, who used, oh, she used to tinkle on me. That was like the extent of our sessions. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> he says that with such casual. In my, old, in my old apartment on 43rd Street. And that, but she said she had someone who liked a scalpel. He was a doctor, and and, she, and he liked a scalpel put in his piss hole. Stop it. And pulled up. And I believe her. I There's know she's no been truthful. fucking reason yes. for that. And she said that he said that the turn on for him was it hurt, but when he was peeing the next day, it would really hurt and Get burn. It. And he would think of the session. That's some of the hates of it. their you penis. You want to the worst? I had a girl, an ex-girlfriend who had an ex-boyfriend that wanted toothpicks stuck up. Hi, ah, ah, Come on. Would it I just know, sit yeah. there with the toothpick hanging out of it going, yeah, you see? Know, look, most of the story. <laughs> see? Oh, as I, what happened? As I lived in the same building as, as Jim. And so when I would see you in the elevator, I thought you were just being rude. You were just ashamed of yourself. I know. I, I, was, yeah. I, I don't want to gargle. Shame. <laughs> it would be like four in the morning. I'd be coming home. I'd be on three different drugs, and you'd be kind of like just standing in the corner like looking. i go, hey, how you doing? You're just like looking at me. i go, boy, he's kind of a cocky dude. <laughs> no, no, no. He just did something horrible to oh, a did I come off like a jerk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shame. Well, I might have had a friend coming up to meet me who I didn't want you to see. <laughs> oh. mm. Young lady. All right, Joe. Use the term loosely. Well, you might, you might hear some of these stories on Friday night at, at, uh, at, Smith, uh, at Smith, Blacksmith Pub in Smithtown. Me and Anthony are doing an acoustic gig. Yeah, doing a little acoustic right. gig. And Black never Smith, promotes his Blacksmith shit. Pub in Smithtown. Uh, on where Terry is that? Road. Where? On Terry Road. Terry, Terry Road, Road, yeah. Who are you, the fucking Bacon Brothers doing an acoustic <laughs> It's always <laughs> fun to just go around Long Island. I don't have to. That's the funny thing about it. I don't have to do it. Anthony definitely doesn't have to do it, but we do it for fun. That's and he doors Where's the Bacon Brothers yeah, have to do doors it? A couple we of doors? Actually, we actually do do a couple of Doors songs. And I just thought you hated around the Doors. Some. I, I could yeah. sing shit. I want to hear hate. some acoustic I'm a professional. Right. Right. House Blues. <laughs> and then 2U is yeah. on 11 o'clock. Yeah, it's always a staple. Oh, 2U is doing a gig. Yeah. Oh, all right. Cool. I'm opening for myself. Nice. Yes. <laughs> all right, Joe. All right, Joe. I'll, uh, I'll see you Friday, man. Uh, yeah, Friday, yeah. All right. And uh, Dr. Steve, really fast. I remember watching Survivor a few years back, and one of the contestants couldn't pee, and it yeah. kept building up on, in them, and they had to fucking get them off the island or whatever. Yeah. But what is that about? Well, uh, he may have had a prostate infection that's... Well, you know, you, you swelled up the hole or something. A prostate's a poor design. It really is. That yeah, really should have been recalled when yeah. uh, the Lord yeah. made it. As I recall, that was an older guy, too, was it not? I don't remember, but one of the young they guys, had to get but... him off because, I mean, the urine was just building up inside him and it had yep. nowhere to and, go. And you get this huge you imagine? Bladder, dude, and you can feel it from the front. Oh. I mean, just, you feel, it feels like this big sort of two-liter sized uh, balloon. I'm I would have made him do jumping jacks. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> you know, let me tell you the worst thing about it. Yeah. Um, is when they put that catheter up, it's got a balloon on the end to hold it in the bladder, right? So you shove this thing in, and then you blow up the balloon with water, and um, and, and then that it keeps it from coming out. Oh. Well, every once in a while, you'll get somebody that's either got delirium or some old demented dude, and he'll take that catheter and just rip it out. <laughs> Oh, 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 he keeps saying the worst part of it, but there's never ever. Is, it there's doesn't always end. something worse. It's something worse. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I have. A, I have a but question. But you know what? The worst part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a question. How come? How come it is like if I haven't peed in a while? And one of my and one of my buddies jumps on my back for a piggyback ride. I immediately come in my pants. <laughs> God damn you, Jimmy! Uh, fuck. Uh, are we done with you, Steve? Sure. Any any other questions oh, the for the answer to Jim's problem? Yes, exactly. <laughs> John Fellow, you got uh, well, it's probably a prostate problem. <laughs> you got a question for Doctor Steve? Free oh, advice, right? Problem. Here. 
Uh, yeah, Gutfeld has some kind of rash, I think. That no, sounds it's, like a problem. It's, it's not really a rash. More like a bump. A <laughs> bump. <laughs> you go Uh-oh. with Dr. Steve. Comes right. every now and then. All right, Steve. Weirdmedicine.com, I think. Yeah, no, drsteve.com and Weird Medicine, uh, midnight, Saturday, and Sunday night. Very good. All right. Enjoy your vacation, sir. I have a question. Oh, Oh, oh. wait, here's a quick question. Why are doctors prescribing vitamin D all of a sudden? Have you noticed this? Yeah, it's a great question, actually. There's uh, just one study after another showing that people with low vitamin D uh, uh, increases the risk of all kinds of health problems including cancer and uh, heart disease and a bunch of stuff. So we don't know for sure that that treating uh, these things with vitamin D will will avoid that risk, but we do know that if you've got low vitamin D, you're at high risk. So it's it weird. It makes sense. Every, I've been to the doctor, like, I don't know, three times in the last year. Every time. It's like, yeah. are you taking vitamin D? And I go, I've, been, I've been, worked in health journalism for 20 years. No one ever talked about vitamin D because you usually right. get it from the sun or your milk or whatever. Now every single doctor is telling you this. It's like yeah, all it's, of a sudden it just happened. All right, how do you get vitamin D? Yeah, how do you get this pill? Now we all need fucking Calcium, yeah. caltrate, right? No, can right? I have vitamin no, D? Go buy vitamin D. You can yeah. get it no, uh, the regular I take it every morning now. No. Oh, how do you get it the regular way? Yeah, you get it through uh, sun, exposure to the sun. <laughs> yeah, <And> semen. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Yeah, yeah. Does it have true. a lot of vitamin D in it? <laughs> no, I don't know, Jimmy. <laughs> What? Does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have, wait, Steve, I have a question, too. about uh, I, uh, Wheatgrass is really good, right? Yeah, it's okay. I think it's a scam. Yeah, it's, I think wheatgrass okay. is a scam. I mean, it's, it's a green vegetable. Sure, I it's mean, not going to hurt yeah. you, but I don't think it's as great as everyone's saying. What, what about, about I mean, the acai berry? Uh, that's, I think that one's a horse shit. That one's horse shit. Whenever they say it's from the jungles and the Amazon, no, they're not. No one's picking it from there. <laughs> yeah. why, why is that different than fucking the, the trees in Jersey, yeah. in South Jersey? That looks the same. It, no, I don't give a fuck where it came it's from. from it's Pittsburgh, bunch, actually, right? Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. It's got a bunch so, of antioxidants in it, so it's it's okay, uh, you know. But I don't. I, I haven't seen a single study that showed that acai berries are any better than anything else. My my question is this: for depression, I don't want to go on medication, just for a little little mood swings. So I've been taking a little bit of uh, St. John's wort. Is that better than Sam E? Okay. Yeah, that's a, an interesting question. The two things, to Thank my you. knowledge, have never been uh, studied head to head, but could, both of them have shown that. some improvement in uh, depression. And whether Sam E is better than St. John's wort, uh, you know, you email me and I'll look and see if, uh, if recently anybody's done a head to head study with those. We may have to settle this with a kissing contest. St. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John's easy, wort is good for like mild depression. Yeah, mild. Not and, like, it's not, and you don't have right. to wean yourself off it like prescription. How, how about uh, Sam E? Is that good? That'll be good? Yeah, Sam E is an interesting thing. It's. Show it, there's some studies out there that show that it's pretty good for depression, also really good for uh, joint pain. So uh, it's one of those things that it's not been accepted by mainstream medical society yet because the studies just aren't there. What you want are these double-blind, placebo-controlled studies where you look at a whole bunch of people, give half of them the drug and half of them a placebo, and see which ones do better. And those studies just haven't been done yet. But um, uh, observational studies where they just look back in the past and see which people uh, get some benefit or show some promise for both of those things. So. Uh- but uh, where 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 are you at with hooker piss? Is that healthy or? Yeah, that can lift your depression, Jim. Just yeah. have, have yeah, stop girl, girl shitting on you let's, and get some fucking respect for yourself. <laughs> That's what it depresses. You that, feel bad afterwards. That may lift the sadness. <laughs> <laughs> let's get real with hooker piss. What kind of vitamins are in hooker piss? What are the benefits of hooker piss? I know sure some people drink be. their own urine, right? Yeah. For yeah, health I, benefits. You know what he did, Andrew I think the Wheel. Main detriment to Andrew Wheel. Your self-esteem. The East, Eastern, Andrew like, Wheel. This is this is a good point because like it's the difference between Eastern and medicine. Medicine is that, or Eastern and Western medicine is Western medicine actually works. <laughs> All these other idiots like that. I, I picked Andrew Wheel is the guy who drinks his own urine. Am I right, Doctor Steve? You I don't know, know that who guy. He is, though. Yes. Right. Do, uh, Andrew Wheel. He 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 made kind of an impact because he was talked about how drinking urine was healthy. It's like, what, what do you get this? There are no studies. Yeah, Doesn't it re- I, 
Why do you think that the place that you urinate from is about as far away from the mouth as it could possibly be? <laughs> Jim and Jim has noticed that to his much frustration. I know. <laughs> yes, much to my chagrin. <laughs> chagrin. God has punished me. But aren't you peeing out a lot of vitamins, so why not just throw it right back in you? Yeah, how about just take another vitamin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's right. laughs> Better way to see a vitamin. <laughs> way to justify it. But there's vitamins in there. <laughs> oh, good point. <laughs> Let Dr. Steve get back to his vacation. All right. Go Are you on vacation? Have a good one. All right. Yeah. Don't save anybody. You're on vacation. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> Dr. Steve, thank you. <laughs> he is great. Yeah, but doctor, like if I if I had a buddy who was a doctor, that's all I would do all the time is annoy them. I would call them. Dumb questions. It's got like it's like if your buddy's a cop, you always think, well, he's going to help me out of problems. Like you know, thank God my buddy Paul is always going to you know be there in case I get arrested. A doctor, you every five minutes I would be calling him up with something like if I had a pain. I drive him nuts. You start freaking out. Yeah. Well, I got something. Yeah, I got. But what this is, come over. I'll Cause... talk to Steve once in a while. It was. Uh... I remember uh, my chick one time had, uh, and it's, it's a girl I dated before this girl. Chlamydia? Was, no, that was, please, that's a piece. That was her name. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, apparently everyone's having fun at my expense. Oh, Jimmy. You no, know, she had like these little uh, marks on her legs. It looked like, like by her pussy, it looked like herpes. Oh, shit. And I was shit. freaked out. Uh, and she was too, but it was not that. It was something like a hair follicle thing. And then folliculitis. She, that was folliculitis. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. folliculitis. Yep. I got that when I from from uh, when playing sports. Follicle. Like if yeah. you're just like you know, it's like uh, it, yeah, it's like, like a sweat kind of thing, yeah. right? It what, like you a, had bumps around like your fungus. pussy. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What happened? You smashed it on the bike bar. <laughs> <laughs> smashed your vag. We uh, when I was living down in Florida, me and my buddies would go out and nail all these skanks, and um, <laughs> we caught no we caught like three of us caught chlamydia at the same time. And we had no money to go to doctors, like a hundred bucks for a visit, and then another fifty for a prescription. So we went. Our buddy used to always go to a pet store. We went with him. They had tetracycline in the Jesus. pet store for for fish. <laughs> for fish. So we just went in there because it's a form of penicillin, and it was like it was the pills were like twenty twenty five for like six bucks, and a prescription was like thirty or forty. So we just went in there and took those pills. We didn't even know how much we were taking. We we're just popping them, and it was gone in like a day and a half. And our buddy that went to the real doctor he had two shots at his ass. Wow. And took him ten days, knocked out in an hour, and then we just go in there if we. Like, like had some skank the night before. Like, let's go in there just as a preventative. preventative. Yeah, absolutely. Just start Very popping them. responsible of you. Then your yeah. one friend died and you flushed him down the toilet. <laughs> you know, we could, we could have solved it by wearing a condom. That would have been easier. Fuck but... that. No. Feels like shit. I hate that. It's like a porn condom. version of the Amazing Mr. Limpid. Remember that movie? Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> when, Don, when Don Rickles turns into a fish. You never saw Don that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don Knotts. Don Knotts. Don Knotts. But they do have tetracycline in, in the pet stores Who for knew fish. That? Yeah. Damn it. I never heard that. Yeah, and, it's, and it, that's penicillin. I mean, it's basically a form of penicillin. Yeah, yeah. Same, does the same thing. Holy Fuck. shit, I'm sure it's not recommended. It's pretty fucking sure it's smart. Not human we figured we, dr we drank like fish. We just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you, got rid of, uh, you got rid of that. Day and tail. a half. You didn't get no. tail rot either. No. How, do, how do you know or if you ick. got rid Because, see, that's the issue with chlamydia. You never burn. know if you get rid of it. I don't know. It didn't burn him. I didn't care. You probably, never know if you get rid of chlamydia. He probably still has it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he probably still has it. Uh, no. That probably just made it worse. No, that's the issue, the issue with chlamydia. He doesn't have symptoms. It's basically. Uh, uh, symptomless, <laughs> especially among women. They don't know that they've got it. That's yeah. why. It, that's why it spreads so quickly. Well, that's good. Then you can blame it on them yeah. when she when it finally shows Which up. When you gave it to her, like you didn't know. You don't know. You yeah. have it. You could have got it six years ago. Yeah. Just say you don't have it, and she does. All of a sudden, she has it. Now you could be like, if you want to break up with her, go. Like, nah, you're fucking somebody. Obviously, <laughs> I'm clean. Hey, wait, <laughs> fucking was, whore. Way to rub it in. <laughs> yeah, she gave, give her the disease and then blame her for it. I know. That's a, that's, break up with her. Yeah. <laughs> Got to turn it around. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, that's the way it works. what about when you were a kid and, and you wanted? Uh, you used to hang out with a guy who had like uh, you were into wrestling. Oh no! <laughs> who, who was, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> was that? Hey, we <laughs> How old were you? I was fourteen. My dad used to take us to wrestling matches at Madison Square Garden, and we met this guy out front who would sell wrestling pictures. This fat guy. 300 pounds of bad mustache. Yes. We go up to him every time. He's in the same because he was a photographer. So he'd be in the front. So he'd have all these great pictures. Sell them to us for a dollar piece, you know, and uh, we became friends with him somehow. 
He, he's like, oh, give me your address. He'll start, he started sending us pictures of all the kids in the neighborhood. Then he would call me on the phone and tell me about the, the match the night before. Oh. And my voice was about this. It was this deep at 14. And he's on the other end, and I'm asking all these questions, and he's fucking breathing heavy. Oh, no. I had no idea. I'm thinking, where's this fuck? This guy just came in from a jog? Oh, oh, fucking, where's this fat guy jogging Jesus. from? Just keep me on the phone. He's like, so, so, <laughs> don't you want to know more about the match? Well, ask me some questions. And he's fucking. Oh, jacking off. I had no idea. <laughs> wow. So then we went to a match by ourselves. So our parents let us take the train at Asbury Park or whatever. So we're sitting in nosebleed seats. He comes up in between a match and he goes, hey, I got two seats right in the front because he was the photographer. Somebody wants to come down there, Jim, you. And this other guy, this other kid with blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah. Come on down. We get down there. There's only one seat. Oh. We go, what's going on? He goes, oh, somebody's going to have to sit on my lap. This is my other seat. I'm like, you didn't say that. He's wow. like, well, some... and I'm like, this is bullshit. I'm ready to walk up there. And all of a sudden, I see Andre the Giant coming out. I'm like, holy fuck. He's right there. I'm that close to you him. Were, you were right on the lap. Yeah, I said, all right, I'll take first shift. <laughs> you will take first shift. <laughs> and he was holding me like I was fuck, uh, on a motorcycle, like he was on the back. And I was Are the you front. Oh, yeah, me? his arms. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to fall. You got to see yeah. Andre the Giant. Right, first row. <laughs> He's justifying it. Like, what, what yeah, you, first row. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on. It was first row. But I, then halfway through the match, all of a sudden, he uh, I feel a nibble on my ear. No. I swear to God, I go, what the fuck? He goes, I was just, uh, I was looking that way. It was an accident. I'm like, that's, that's bullshit. I'm like, oh. you no, know I'm fucked. This bull. I go, Mike, you get on his lap. It's your turn. He didn't even know what happened. I didn't care. I fucking threw him under the bus. <laughs> on top of it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked over at one point. He was holding him like that. He was younger than me. He was like real cute. Like a twelve year old, oh, no. he was holding him like oh, I don't know what's God. going on over there, but fucking look at Andre, he just fucking body slammed Bruno San Martino. <laughs> what did he want for the wrestling pictures? Huh? Did he? He was going to give you wrestling pictures. Well, then he, then he, then, then <laughs> it, uh, uh, <laughs> the next time I see him, right? <laughs> yeah, then he would say, he'd see me. He goes, hey, uh, you know, we haven't seen each other. Why? Goes, you like this picture? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you want it for free? I'm like, sure. And he's like, all right, well, give me a kiss in the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, why? He's like, oh, you know, Italian men do that all the time. It's oh, yeah. when they greet each other. My dad did it with his friend. And I'm like, it makes sense. You know, it's like, do these guys have like a book, a book, of, or do they come up with this so like chapter four, the lap trick? Yeah, yeah, or the like, one seat at the wrestling yeah, the match. One seat, yeah, no, this is a tried and true trick. Yes. But and if they ticket. catch you, if they don't like you nibbling on their ears, say you were looking around their head yeah. to try to find oh. something. Always try to stay out of trouble. But the balls yeah. to do that in front of a full arena. You I know, gotta right? love this guy. Yeah. Wow. And you know, I cut to a quick story. Um, some When I told this story one other time, this guy called me up or emailed me and said it was the same. Was it this guy, Barry, whatever? Barry. I'm like, yeah. He said that his family, he lived in North Jersey, right? He, same thing. He was working this kid. Right? His parents dropped him off at his New York City apartment at a 12 years old because Barry said there was a, he was going to take him to a wrestling match the next day. Oh, no. Oh, shit. And his parents dropped him off to stay the night, the Friday night, oh, for the Saturday match. A 12-year-old kid. Oh, that poor little kid. I, know. Oh, I thought you were so, saying lucky Barry. <laughs> <laughs> so he's all over him. He's grabbing him this and that, and the kid starts crying. He's like, no. And he's f he fended him off. And in the morning, he goes, get dressed. He's like, what do you mean? He goes, the match got canceled. Jeez. And his parents had to come and pick him up because the match got canceled. Did yeah. it really get canceled? No, there was no fucking match. But no the kid, match. Was, kid was fending him off the whole night. What the fuck? That's oh, how, how does the parents drop a twelve year old kid <laughs> off at someone's apartment? I mean, how do they not check the match? <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay, know, with right? the, stay with the giant polar bear. Oh, We're gonna, yeah. yeah. Oh, so what happened? Man. Did he get in trouble with that guy eventually? Yeah, he wound up. Get, yeah, he wound up going to jail. Oh, we really? Found out like three months later. Yeah. Is he still in? I don't know. Yeah. Now I'm producing a radio. <laughs> yeah. There was a match. It was canceled. <laughs> but then, he, but then he wound up staying over my house. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Well, you were a cock tease. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, my he knew all the kids in the neighborhood because we all go to matches. So he convinced my dad. He's like, oh, you know, I want to hang with the kids on a Saturday afternoon. He took the bus from New York to the middle of Jersey. What a creep! And oh. my parents are a little weird about it. Like, I don't know, but like, all right, you know. It's kind of strange. So like, oh, what was good. going on in parents' minds back they, yeah, then? They, I don't they know. They felt something was wrong, but fuck it. Ah, fuck it. They talk to the other parents and neighbor. You think this is all right? I, you know, he's a forty-year-old guy, guy hanging around fourteen-year-olds. But we were all in the. You know, he had the greatest pictures. Of course. Yeah. He so had, he had to have a fucking gimmick. They put him in the guest room the night before. I wake up in the morning. I'm, I'm sleeping. He has his hand down my pants. <laughs> he snuck down there. <laughs> and I Holy fucking jump. I go, what are you doing? He grabbed my cock. He goes, I'm showing you a magic trick. I'm like, a magic <laughs> trick? <laughs> 
Where does he come up with this? I don't know. He's brilliant. How dumb are you, though? He already fucking did a lap ride and the cheek kisses. What was the rest of the trick? I invited to your house. Who, dummy? Well, because he would give me free pictures. We meet each other. He would tell me, look, don't say anything, and I'll give you these pictures. So I'm like, all right. He got the pictures, though. I got off as a greeting from another country every time. Imagine if he was in court, and the other guy's lawyer would be going like, and then, so after he had you on the lap, then you invited him to stay over, and you're accusing him. I'd be just blame you. Your Honor, my client is obviously innocent. Yeah. This young whore yes. was trying to taunt him, teased so, him into coming the, to his yes. house. What was the magic trick? I don't know. He just, I just said I ran to the door to go tell my brothers, my older brothers, I'll and he blocked your, the door, making Jim's dignity disappear. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, what? usually a magic trick when you, you you pull a rabbit out of a hat, yeah. not a cock out of some some fourteen year old's PJs. And b by the way, don't you have to tell someone there's a magic trick? Otherwise, you're just doing it for yourself. <laughs> yeah. this is not a, he's the, practicing. The best so, part is that he snuck down. He snuck <laughs> down. He was on his knees. He's I remember staying that. in your house. Yeah, that's How heavy is it? What kind sneak. of sleepers didn't hear a? Three 300 pounder coming down the steps to molest the boy. <laughs> the boy. I had my earplugs in. So uh, wait, he, he grabs damn. your dick um, he, and then he blocks the door. How does he make you not tell? Because he says, look, I, it goes, he went right to the photo album. He goes, look, I'll give, I got 50 pictures in there. I'll give you 35 of them if you don't say anything. Jeez Louise. You could have went for all 50. And he's flipping through them. And I'm like, wow. He's like, this one. Do you How know? easily is distracted is Jim? Oh, absolutely. He's like, I got a picture of the Grand Wizard without his cos makeup on. I'm like, wow. Oh, man. All right. I just sat there. I remember sitting there on the bed with him, just picking out every one. Wow. And After then, he had his hand on... He should have got a little suck in there for 35 yeah, pictures. Yeah, I know. 35 pictures. Somebody tells me you were driving a pretty hard bargain with this <laughs> yeah. guy. <laughs> I'm still thinking like he still has those 15 I never got because there's some good ones in there. I'll fucking pay him a conjugal you know visit. You, <laughs> you know you could have gotten them all. Yeah. yeah. I know. Thing is, is give me all 50. He's no longer attracted to you. Yeah. yeah. You're, 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 yeah. I know. He, he got me in my prime. <laughs> you disgusting yeah. man. I'm just fucking... Jim's I'm got the, big balls, so I guarantee you the guy was like false advertising. He probably thought Florentine was all cock, and he's like, what the fuck? I bet that's what woke Jim up, the guy going, what the fuck? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all ball. That's a great yeah, story. Yeah, now you're a man. hairy man. Ugh. Yeah. 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 So yeah. every neighborhood had one of these guys. You, yep. It's just like, but yeah. parents, like nowadays, parents are so sensitive to that stuff. Yeah. You know, but I, back then it was like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there was a creepy guy in the neighborhood. <laughs> creepy, That's what the they did. Creepy parents, there was a creepy guy in the neighborhood. Our parents were way too trusting. Yeah. Now they fucking play with their own kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but they, they like you hang around with the priest sight, right? back then. You know, the priests, you know, these yeah, are good hands. Know, go yeah, yeah. go yeah. fishing, baseball games, yeah. all that stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, a little kiss on the cheek yeah. for some wrestling <laughs> pictures. Kiss That's, on the cheek. Did you ever see him again after that? Uh, no, no, because uh, like three months later, they finally um, got him. But my brothers were like, my brothers afterwards go, "You got to tell da mom and dad about this." I go, "No," because they were gonna make me give the pictures back. I'm like, "Fuck that! I earned them." <laughs> I Fucking, absolutely. I kissed him on the cheek. I sat on his lap. He grabbed my cock. Who I should have got what? that and the fuck in his camera. What was he doing that finally got him? I don't know. Him. His his partner or whatever. We saw him like we were like, "Where's Barry?" I were all mad, and he's like, "Oh, he got caught molesting like 20 kids. He got thrown Jeez. in jail." 20. Kids. Wow. Guy couldn't keep it in his fucking pants. What a prick. He ran out of pictures. Yeah. yeah. That was his currency. That was for you little whores. <laughs> It'd be great if it worked on the cops, too. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, you We're got talking. pictures? Yeah. 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 Here's Lou Albano with a Mets hat. Don't say yeah, anything. <laughs> got his hand down the cop's fucking pants. Yeah, it's a magic yeah. trick. <laughs> a magic, it's magic trick. trick. You didn't even ask him what kind of magic trick. <laughs> it's a magic no. trick. I don't, I don't like magic. It scares me. <laughs> hey, he woke me up out of a dead sleep. I wasn't thinking. And he, he was just, ask him what it was. He was he, just there, probably all breathing. And heavy and sweating. <laughs> and he had such a distorted view of magic after that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to see a magic trick? No. <laughs> what, you got pictures? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the juice is like, what the fuck do you mean I got pictures? I'll bet you he was going to pop in his mouth. I'll bet you oh. he was going to make it wet. Should have waited. Probably, yeah. yeah. Should have waited it out, see where it was going. That's yeah. a big part of my one-man show, and I still have the wrestling pictures, and I show them oh, on the screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Greg, you still uh, yeah. have the picture. Yeah, I got the Ivan Koloff only had the bell for nine days. So I'm like, look how fucking rare this picture how is. How long did your ass hurt for that one? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can just go online now and get it for free. You're not giving your boyish cock up to a sweaty fat man. <laughs> At least he's either originals, though. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on. Too many didn't know about the internet back then. You'd be like, I can hold off for a few years. I'll get these online. I don't have to let a morbidly obese man fucking <laughs> a velour suit grab my cock. <laughs> Giant fucking fat hands wrapped around. Fat you hands are always smell, sweaty. But, oh, you know the fat guys that their, their breath stinks? Oh, just yeah. Everything, oh, yeah, they breath stinks? Yeah, yeah. Did he oh. want to kiss you, you think? Smell like 14-year-old boy balls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you kids don't clean your assholes properly. <laughs> That's why his breath stunk. <laughs> Young punks. <laughs> Filthy little fuckers. So he's, still, he's got to still be in jail. Right. Be, well, this is like 78, ago. 79, okay. 80. Wow. So. He's probably dead. Yeah. He's either out, dead, or back in again for doing the same thing. And he thing. was probably about 40 at the time. Yeah. So. He's probably Shit. still taking wrestling pictures. Hopefully he's lost a few pounds. Yeah. He's better looking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my it's not god! Not gonna get better a, than that, man. What a story! <laughs> like, yeah, you can't get any better. That's fantastic. That's that's awesome. the greatest Real. story ever. Closing the book on this fucking show. <laughs> that's How that's do we awesome. beat that? <laughs> <laughs> well, Gutfeld, we'll start with you, man. Uh, Host of Fox's uh, Red Eye, of course, and uh, the Bible of Unspeakable Truth is in bookstores. The book looks great. Thank you, sir. I think people would are gonna dig this one, so uh, go get that and check out uh, Greg on Red Eye. And yes, uh, Florentine, Jesus show. Christ, we man! Had a I told last night. <laughs> fucking more stories from Florentine. <laughs> I love it. You should be writing a book. Yeah, yeah. I am. I, well, I'm working yeah. on the book, but I'll, I'll do the one man show and hopefully turn it into a book. That'd be good. People, so. I tell you, people won't believe. I'm like, you're fucking. Lying. I'm like, I'm not. This, you can't. There's too much detail. You can't make that up. You can't make that shit up. You just can't fucking make that up. Absolutely. That's fantastic. So we got the, uh, what, the Wilbur Theater in Boston? Saturday, it's Saturday, Saturday night. doing the Wilbur. Yeah, I'm doing the Wilbur, wilburtheater.com. And then Sunday night, Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant. I'm doing the Wilbur, wilburtheater.com. And then Sunday night, Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant. And then Wednesday, June 9th and 16th at Uncle Vinny's Point Pleasant. And the Twitter. People should be following. Twitter, Mr. Jim Florentine. And season five of that metal show is every Saturday night at 11 o'clock. I think we got Rob Zombie on this week. Nice. Oh, cool. There you go. Sam's right. a big fan. I got a, a Thursday, this Thursday uh, on Raw Dog, 4 o'clock, the Jim Norton Show. It's a one-hour show. I'll be doing it every week. It's uh, My guests are going to be Bob Kelly, Amy Schumer for this week. And uh, Friday night I'll be in Seattle at the Showbox Theater, two shows, the 28th. And Caroline's the week after. Ooh, I can't wait for the Borgata. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's until July that's 2nd. That's going to be there. fun. Fun, yeah, fun hanging. Yeah, out. I'm gonna come down for that too. I yeah, yeah, I'm oh, off that weekend. Yeah, if I could, I hope I could drag myself away from the table to come and see Jimmy. But it's very we difficult. all we that all ain't know. Happening. I am really bad the with seats, that. Jimmy, will you? By the way, yeah, come down and I will fill Anthony's seats with some lucky listeners. You'll see, <laughs> you'll see where Anthony could have sat in the Borgata. <laughs> if I would have been able to drag myself away from the yeah, table. These yeah. are Anthony's seats uh, on, on Friday night. That'd be great fucking uh, front row center. Sit there with some fucking Asian machine dealing cards to me. Poorly. I love walking. That's my Do favorite. Do I have blackjack? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. You had a four. I had a 20. You yell at the Rick. dealers? Oh, oh I'm yeah. the worst. Oh, you really? I love I wish, that. I wish horrible diseases on them. You do? I'm like fucking, yeah. You like yeah. Pesci and Casino. Oh, look at this butte. <laughs> fucking flicking the cards. Take that one and stick it up your fucking ass. I spit on the floor. I had to have a pillow brought. Like I heard about the pillow. Keith got a pillow. Keith the cop is right. like my fucking wingman whenever I go there. He keeps everything. Make sure everything doesn't get completely out of control. And I was turned around at some points and just wailing him in the arm. I was punching him in the arm. He had to get a pillow for me to punch and to just stick my face in and go, fuck! <laughs> really? Because they, they don't like your cursing. Right. And I, I'd be like, when you're sitting there with a $6,000 bet and you have a 20 and the dealer is showing a four mm -hmm. and flips a picture card and then picks seven. that fucking seven out, uh. you just got to go, fuck, <laughs> what, how? And I sit there and go, how, why? I go, well, I go, oh, and then she'll deal me next time around. She's dealing my cards, deals me a four. And I go, oh, watch, watch, 14, okay. And then I'll be like, hit me, where's my seven? Oh, but king, yeah. why wouldn't you deal me one, you fucking pieces of shit? You're always doing that. And they have to where's take my... it because he's spending some good money. Yeah, yeah. and they're, yeah, they're just sitting there. They like knew they machines. were yanked out of the fucking place by our necks. They're machines. They just sit there, fuck, 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 dealing out shit to you. <laughs> and then I'll hit a run and just fucking 
tool them. Yeah. And it's great. But I can never win right when I get there. Right when I get there, guaranteed I'm losing a fuckload and have to make up ground. Yeah. Really? Well, I guess that's a good thing because if I won, then you get this overconfident fucking feeling <laughs> and then you leave losing. I guess it's best to win right before you leave. <laughs> but yeah. it's so just, ugh, I can sit there and, God, give me another drink. Where's the bartender? Where's the waitress? The bitch hasn't been around here in hours. Fuck. Deal. <laughs> It oh. really is. It's like watching every addiction at once. Yeah. <laughs> if he could have lips on his cock, he'd, he'd be the fucking, he'd be the perfect addict. <laughs> it is, uh, a, a, well, it's entertaining for people to watch. Oh, but, it's uh, great. I it's love just, going to watch it. It drives me batshit. I finally made it over to the high roller section and spent a good hour watching Anthony again. I really enjoy it's watching it. There are some hands where you're sitting there and, and I'm playing two spots. The table's a $6,000 max. Mm -hmm. So you get $12,000 on the table. Now you get dealt cards where you're splitting or doubling down. Mm -hmm. So now you're putting another 6000 on top of this. Before you know it, there's sometimes $32,000 riding on one fucking hand. Uh. Or, or a couple of hands, but one run. You know, the, and, and the deal is showing their three <laughs> or their six or their shitty card that they turn over and make gold out of it. Yeah. And, and you're sitting there just, what? But they're my chips. Where are my chips going? It's great when it works the other way, though. Yeah. And right away, they just deal you out blackjack, and you're like, ah, pay me. Pay me, bitch. <laughs> pay me, bitch. Yeah, you fucking don't pay off as fast as you take it, you mother... F yeah, I, then, I get, so, then I get the, loud. the restaurant owner wants to show you how he tenderizes meat, and he takes to his Cadillac in the back. <laughs> yes, and pushes my head down in his lap. <laughs> <laughs> you need a sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> fucking fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you superstitious too? Like if Jim walks over and you start losing, you tell him to get, if get I, out. If I will not even be subtle about how I think people are mushes. If if I'm winning and someone walks over and they're like, "How you doing?" and stuff, I've told girls that I'm there with, "Get the fuck away from the table. <laughs> You're a fucking jinx. You're a jinx. Go 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 to go to slot machine." I had my girlfriend of nine years leave me at the Borgata. She left me at the Borgata. Really? She had, and it, well, it was a culmination of you know years. It was the final straw. It was the final straw. Right. The but final straw fucking, happened yeah, at the, the Borgata. Final Redwood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I was I was at the blackjack table, and uh, one of the she my girlfriend comes over, but one of the Borgata babes comes by, and they are fucking yeah, exquisitely hot. hot. And she, this girl was amazing, and she comes by, and I go, "Excuse me, you're distractingly attractive. Can you just leave?" And, and and my girlfriend just looked at me and goes, "I'm leaving," and I go, "All right, no, not you. I'll see you up at the room. <laughs> I'll see you up at the room or something." She goes, "No, I'm leaving. I'm going home. I'm packing and leaving." That if you didn't get off from the table, no, no. If she said I was on that. fire, he wouldn't have gotten off from the table. She, she left. I I pushed back from the uh, from the table for a second. I told the dealer to wait. I got on my phone. I called American Express to cancel her credit card. You so, did right yeah. at the table. <laughs> yes. Jesus. And and then went back. Deal them, bitch. <laughs> Deal the fucking cards. You canceled that minute. Yeah, You're a yeah. Smart guy. I, because you know why? Because I learned from the other one that booked a fucking cruise after we broke up, and I didn't cancel <laughs> the fucking cards fast enough. She booked a booked cruise. cruise for her and Opie's ex girlfriend. Awkward. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Opie did pay. I finally paid him for, for, like, for what the are you cruise. Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? They're going on a fucking Royal like, how Caribbean is, how cruise. How does this help me out that you're right. fucking with with the, the the bad guy? Yeah. How's that? That's great. That makes, makes for sense. a good working environment exactly. between me and Opie. <laughs> when my fucking ex, who's taken, who who took the fucking forty thousand dollars, everything I had out of the bank, and then drags and, my and, girl at the time on a cruise. I'm like, what goes you, on a I'm, cruise. I'm like, what are you doing? And then she, uh, then I learned that she was driving her to the, the, the lawyer. The lawyer, like, like, Dominic Barbara. Oh, fantastic. You know what would have been great oh. if you canceled an American Express card on the way home from Atlantic City. She needed gas. She was on E, and she yeah. went to swipe her card. And it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't. It already. Please run it through again. Please try it again. Would you just please try it again? We're in Toronto Fest time. We, we, oh, we, shit. That's right. We do okay. have to go. We'll get out of here. Guys, uh, always a pleasure. God Fun. damn. Thank you. Great, and, man. Thanks and for having James. me. Always. That great was fun Gutfeld. last night. Oh, I had a great thank time. You. All right. Yeah, we did the plugs. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Let's Bye. go.